Alright then, Hajime Mastenshi, it's finally time for the Mario Kart Rally, I think. So, I guess the big thing is, where do I change the rules? Okay, 150cc, no teams, do we want normal items? What item rules normal do Normal items is fine. Okay, normal items. Do we want computer? I, I, I would, I always err on the side of no. I'm, I'm thinking no. Yeah. And, okay. Max is 48 races, so we'll do one set of 48, and then another set of 48, I presume? Uh, no, wait, what are the other options, like, just below that? 32? Oh, Hajime Mashtan, she's stressing. So, or we could do three sets of 32. That would also work. But the big thing is that 48 is an even half. And that would be the easiest way to remember which is which. In the end, it's just whatever the people want. Whatever the people are asking for. Hmm. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, do people feel like 48 or 32? Or what do we feel like? What do the people desire? Let's see. I think 32 would be safe as long as you can remember where right, to go. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll be chilling. So I'll stick to 32 and we can get this thing started. Start this race. 150cc race, no teams, normal items, no comm, all vehicles, 32 races. And okay, there we go. And 32 would be. Yeah, that'd be the first eight over here, so. Right, so, Mario Kart Stadium. It'd be funny if someone just shows something incorrect. We'd have to write that one down. To remember it for later. Oh, crazy. I'm, I'm actually going to pop open a blank notepad. Just in case. I would appreciate just that. Just in case. Also, to, maybe to keep track of scores, too. That'd be baller. A shy guy. Oh. Three, two, one, go. Nice. And come on, come on. It's been so long since I last played Mario Kart. Oh my goodness. I'm very worried about this. Oh, I went way too far. Oh my lord. Let's see if I can. Mmm. Let's get this double item. I'm in a dangerous position. Okay. And can we... Mm. Here we are. That's caught up decently well. And... Okay. We, mm. Let's not get those bananas. I have a surprisingly small number of coins. Oh, oh, oh please. Alright. <laughs> Ooh, bad. That was a really bad time to use that mushroom. This may be kind of a humiliation conga for me, but, you know, that's life. It's not like it hasn't happened to me before. Okay. So... Wait for the right time to use these... mushrooms. There, and I think... This would be... Yeah, yeah. Hello. And... It really is. It's basically the only part of my life. Oh my goodness, Cobble is doing very, very well. It's that Lollafell Riz. Is it, is it proper to say that Lollafells can have Riz? Uh, Anna Emmerich has said that before, yes, so... Interesting. I think that might be evidence that they don't. <laughs> yeah, take... make of that what you will. Oh, oh. And right at the end. Of right at the end. I should have. I had that red shell. Oh my goodness. Well, that's life. Strong second place finish. Okay. So next on the chopping block is going to be water park. Let's do this thing. The big thing for me is congratulations, Maggie. Yeah. Ma Magnolia will not not be talking. 
I mean, Polaris, whatever they want to call themselves, because people around them are being loud. They're basically our Stig, the Stig from Top Gear. Are you familiar with Top Gear, Cobble? I am not, no. It's, it's not Top Gun. Top Gear is a British show about cars, basically. And they have a couple of gimmicks. Well, oh my goodness, too early. Well, that was embarrassing. One of their gimmicks is that they... Oh, you know Top Gear! Okay. So, Matt... Polaris is basically our Stig. In that they won't be talking, and they're probably just going to kick her ass five ways till Sunday. But... Uh, it just reminds me of how there was a while ago when people were talking about how one of the big issues with AI image models is that they don't really have any model of the world. So when they tr when people try to generate images of, say, a car with a word written on it via AI, it ends up just, you know, with the door open too. It splits the word in a weird sort of way. Oh, hi, Kozu. How you doing? We are playing through every single Mario Kart course, ideally. It's the ideal least. But, ooh, banana beal. That was a snipe. That was disgusting. Oh I my goodness. I didn't see that. Yeah, I... That was vile. Well, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Oh, oh. Sorry to hear about that. The mono? But, like I was saying, you know, they would try to have a word written on it, and it would simply get split between the panels, and people were joking that it was basically... Maybe the computer was trained on old Top Gear videos, and that was why it looked like that. Which probably was not the case. Oh, that's good. Do you have a strong immune system? Either way, I'm glad to hear that it's getting over quickly. I'm sorry you had to miss the concert, though. And... come on, come on... Please... oh, there we go, nice. Someone got hit by the banana. And... oh, goodness, we gotta use that super hormones, probably. Memory of a- Well, you said you get over it pretty quick, so presumably- Oh my- No! No! I had that super horn, I just didn't have enough time to see that shell coming. That was... Well, you said you get over it pretty quick, so... That- that might kind of come into conflict with a statement of bad immune system. Who knows, one way or another. Keep on insulting me, I guess. Okay, so time for Sweet Sweet Canyon. No, I mean- No, 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 no! Oh no, no, no. I did not mean to do that. Oh uh, no, oh no, oh no. Gasha, 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 gasha. Thank goodness! Thank goodness! <laughs> the run continues. Okay, it would be funny if it died that early on because I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah. I play too much Sekiro. Yeah. Gotta finish Sekiro and after that there's... Demon Souls to do. I actually... Got Demon Souls working on the emulator last night. I played it a little bit just to get started and test out the fan server system. The big thing with the fan server is that it allows you to sort of force the forcibly select the sort of world alignment, which is, among other things, a pseudo difficulty setting. So it should end up making a lot of things easier in terms of. I think 100% might not be the right way to say it, but showing off a lot of game behaviors and secret events that are tied to this sort of difficulty slash alignment system. I'll just be able to run it through straight and... oh, come on. Let's see if we can snipe. I am not going to be able to get that. That's sad. Yeah, yeah. Sekiro is a really, really interesting, because I'd say it's... About the exact opposite of... Oh, I, I played that once with my sister a long, long time ago. My sister also very, very briefly got into Mario Kart Tour. It was short-lived. But... It's like Mario Kart Tour. Brutal. The funniest thing about Mario Kart Tour is that it really is basically Mario Kart 9, though most people are in denial about that. Because... The way it's been, it's been treated basically as a full numbered entry, entry in terms of what it's received, courses wise, and deluxe. That said, given it's a mobile entry, a lot of people are naturally resistant to it. Not Larry, not Larry, my sister. 
Ar arcades? South? Oh. What about Larry? What are people saying about Larry? Oh, oh! The guy talking? That's Cobble. He's the different guy from yeah, normal. Different guy. Different guy. He played Lego Fortnite with me some time ago. It was fun. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh, let's. Oh my goodness. Not the snipe by intent. That got me. That got Take me. Those. That got me hard. Okay, there we go. Second again. Second again. Yeah, Larry, Larry is squeak, squeakier and more nasally. Like someone who probably lived in New York in a past life. Okay, let's see if we can catch up. I'm in dead last right now. Narrowly. Magster is kicking our asses. That's life. Okay, but... Demon Souls is very slow and... Okay, Thwomp Ruins. Very slow and honestly more of a resource management puzzle than anything else. And Sekiro... Doesn't have hardly any character customization and is extraordinarily fast. What kind of food? Enjoy, f enjoy your food. But... The Womb Ruins. Very, very interesting, because the thing about Demon Souls is that most Souls games have at least three elemental damage types. From now on, they tend to have around four, but Demon Souls only has two, Magic and Fire. And what's interesting is that it, it partially plays into the mechanics in the sense of In Dark Souls, the entire reason, really, that they have multiple, that they have three types as opposed to two is that lightning is sort of divine power. And in Demon Souls, you have magic, which is sort of divine and occult power combined because there is no god separate from the sort of eldritch being that rules over the setting. Meaning that there's no sense in distinguishing between occult and divine power. And then you have fire is just sort of a natural phenomenon that some magic can harness. Oh my goodness, that was a mess up. Well, you can grind in Sekiro too, it's just in the specific way of grinding skill points. So if you don't have skill books to actually use the points on, there isn't really a point in it. That said, I already do have a number of skill a couple of skill books and skill points that you know things to, excuse me, things to use skill points on. That said, I'm not really in a grinding mood right now. But the big thing is that you can't really grind, at least for most of the game, in order to just increase your stats. Eventually you're able to, but at the moment I still can't. It requires an item that you get pretty late in the game to actually do. That was a sad little fall there. Poor Polaris. But you have to get this dragon mask, I believe, in three separate parts, and that was almost a snipe. That was brutal. It's three-part Dragon Mask, and once you do that, you can exchange five skill points for an attack level boost, which, kind of like Dark Souls, it does actually have diminishing returns. But, uh, in the end, until you've actually got all of your skills max, because the very, very final sort of secret skill tree requires, among other things... Oh my goodness. You are... Okay, Polaris is far back. I should be okay. Should be able to get that second. Oh my goodness. That was that, brutal. That was... that was narrow. You that almost got a... me. That would have been vile if you had. That was tragic run yeah. from Polaris, that one. Yeah, just randomly falling off the track. That was sad. Genuinely. But, as I was saying... We're on to Mario Circuit. Yeah, Mario, Mario Circuit. The big thing is that I keep pressing B because in Souls, B is your accept button. It's largely on PlayStation, among other things, and it just keeps throwing me off. But as I was saying... Hmm. The ultimate skills in Sekiro require completing other skill trees in order to get, and they're strong enough that you really want to focus on skills. Well, it's more that... Mario Kart is not a complex enough game, frankly, that I can spend the entire stream just talking about what exactly is going on on stream. Sadly. There were like 12 people? Maybe. There were originally going to be a bunch of people showing up, and they just could not be scheduled. It was sad. You know, they, they all conveniently forgot that it was going on today. But that's life. <sighs> that was sad. 
I get stuck on a pole. The classic. That's what you get for going for the mushroom shortcut. Well, sure, but you it know. It was almost an insane snipe. It was. Almost. Let's get that off. Can we hit Polaris? That's the question. Okay, there we go, and... Hmm, I am not gonna get without a fire flower. Well, that's like... I wonder if they have a shell guarding them or not. They're really, really far ahead. Oh, goodness. Let's get that, and... Come on, come on. Get to that trick and... Ooh, my goodness. And... Uh -huh. That boo gave me a super horn. Interesting. And get another item. Can I catch up to somebody and use this horn on them? Uh, oh my goodness, that was really, really bad. Come on. Uh, I actually saw a bit of a video a relatively short time ago about rubber banding in Mario Kart 64 and how the AI blatantly cheats and will literally phase through walls to beat you. It's actually insane. And oh my goodness. I just keep getting got by those piranha plants. Keep cutting it closer than I should. It's embarrassing. Okay. Wow, I'm far back enough that a blue shell actually showed up. Sorry, Polaris. Okay. It's kind of vile, actually. Come on. I just still can't catch up. That's sad. Brutal. Oh my goodness! It just automatically ended without me. Maybe I should yeah. just maybe I should just die. And but essentially the AI speeds up based on how far it is behind you, among other things. And just isn't actually gets a higher top speed than you can normally get. Okay, to a harbor. And beyond even that. Maybe I honestly should be using a different cart. But, like I was saying, it just gets ridiculous amounts of stats that are completely inaccessible to the player and just not in any way in the base game normally to just screw you over. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Here we are, and... Come on. That may have not been the right way to do things. That's life. We may be, we may be in business. We may actually be in business. Probably not, frankly. And all right, let's hang on to that. But it's just been so long since I played this game that my familiarity with the courses is far below what it should be. It seems at least one person also got hit by the trolley. I can't believe they made a course whose entire idea is just San Francisco. I don't hate it. You know, I used to live there. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, and won't get me from behind her. This first place will not last long. Guaranteed. And oh, I tried to go behind and it simply did not work. Whatever. Give me an actual shell and then... Oh, what, what, what in the... Oh my goodness. On. Ooh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Wow. That's life. If I can get rid of that shell. My goodness. Uh, I tried getting rid of something in favor of another shell, and it simply was not in the cards. Do you have different speed for anti gravity based on your car parts? Because you've been going very heavy on the anti gravity cobble. And I I just remember I just reading. Because there's boost pads up there. That's fair. I just remember hearing some time ago that that was usually, to some extent, suboptimal. And let's see if we can- oh goodness, I- alright. Thanks. Get that, get that, and oh, I messed that up. And... Hmm. Ooh, I- I can't drift there. That is not a place where I can really afford to try drifting. That's a shame. And let's- can we- Hmm. Too far. And what if I... Me and Wario cable car. Imagine if San Francisco was just Wario. Wario Francisco. It might be a little better. 
Maybe. Somehow I find that hard to believe. I mean, I, I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's an idea. Okay, second, that's better. Hmm. I'm still in last. Oh, you, you're tied now. That's impressive. Yeah, it's kind of just been alternating this whole time. Yeah, I forgot about the flags. I can't believe Polaris is being outed as a filthy Canadian. It's kind of sad. It's the kind of thing I would want to hide. Okay, Twisted Mansion. Twisted Mansion, let's get it. Disney's Twisted Mansion? No. Could have made a Twisted Wonderland joke, maybe. Maybe. That might traumatize some people. I don't know. Let's do this thing. Twisted Mansion. Back over here. I really like that Shy Guy Dojo one. I only played it a couple of times. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, but the big thing about Demon Souls is that the big thing that really separates it from other Souls games is the equip burden system, which it basically means they limit the number of items you can carry, which is not something that other Souls games do, based on your carry weight, which is separate as a function from your equip burden. So... You know, for example, pretty much all Souls games, unless they're Bloodborne and, well, I don't really count Sekiro as a Souls game proper, the items you can carry, I mean, the items you can wear at a given time are somewhat limited in the sense of, depending on your carry capacity stat, you need, well, it'll start weighing you down eventually, but in Demon Souls, there's, a, there's also a limit to how much you can carry, and it's actually a hard limit, it's not just eventually get slowed down, it's if you're carrying too many things, eventually you just can't pick anything else up. And oh my goodness. I need to stop going for the two stacks when someone's right in front of me. I keep missing out on items that way, and that is not good. But that leads to a lot of really annoying things, because in the base game, the remake, for better or worse, actually changed it. And they didn't get rid of item burden, but they made it so that if you're picking up something with full item burden, you can just send it to your item box, basically. And, oh my goodness, that was stupid. It was really, really embarrassing. Because in the original, if you pick up an item, or if you try to pick up an item when you can, it just ends up getting scattered on the ground, which can lead to unique items completely disappearing permanently. Which is really, really, really annoying. So, Jack actually got the Demon Souls remake for his birthday from someone in his family, I heard. And he's been playing it a little and having a decent amount of fun with it, even though he basically knows nothing about how to play the game. But the big thing to me is just, if he had to manage item burden, in the sense of worry about losing things pro entirely, I'm not sure he would be having any fun at all. Oh my goodness. Just keep hitting the walls. Oh. It's been so long since I played this. Uh, that's what I get for looking up the mathematically best Mario Kart setup. Via the Pareto Principle. Okay. Shy Guy Falls. Shy Guy fall Does he? That's kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No permanent anti-grav for him. So in other words, we're going to beat Polaris because the anti-gravity won't work on Shaga. It's possible. It is. Hopefully. Eighth race. We are... One twelfth of the way through. And guess who missed the rocket start? Me. Come on. And... and okay, alright. Go for the catch-up. It's just, we forgot where all the shortcuts- oh my goodness. This is getting increasingly embarrassing. And, and, let's get another one of these big items. Okay, we got the trick. And, ooh. One, ooh, alright. Interesting, and, goodness, ooh, ooh. Not mean to touch that. Hmm. Yeah, I... My familiarity with the courses is... 
is a bit to be desired. Come on, Ellis. Okay, one hit, one hit. That's good. Oh, wow, that was actually vile. And, oh, what? No. I did not mean to use the mushroom. The most annoying thing about the boomerang is how it puts, yourself, puts itself into your next slot. That, that really messed me up back there, because I ended up using a mushroom when I did not want to. And throwing myself off the edge. Oh, whatever. That's on me. At least partially. And, come on. We just gotta catch up. And then we... Come on, and... Oh, I... I thought we would have gone for the other item. My lord. And... We... Mmm... Do we actually need to just slow down there entirely? I... I gotta figure out something else to run next time other than Yoshi. Probably. Oh, come on. I just break mid-drift there. Not enough to lose the drift, but... Oh, you can break mid-drift and not yeah, lose the turbo? Break. Like, if you stop completely, you're gonna lose the drift, but if you don't stop 100%, oh, you just get a real sharp turn. That's interesting. I did not know that. It's like, if you ever do 200cc anything... It's crucial. You're, yeah, it's, like, essential. You're gonna run into every single wall on every single And when you say point. break, do you mean just stop moving, or...? The break button a little bit. Which is B? Yeah. Okay. So what you're saying is I need to use a claw grip for this game. I mean, the Y button also accelerates. Oh. Oh. So if you have thumb on the Y button, you can just lean it onto the B button for a bit. So what you're saying, it's like holding dash and then pressing jump in a normal Mario game? Yeah. Sunshine Airport. Okay. The classic. Okay. Alright. Mm. Mm. Super Mario Sunshine! Okay. What are you what are your thoughts on Mario Sunshine? Oh me? I haven't played it yet. I played it a long time ago, but I did not try to get any of the Really try for the blue coins. That was just way beyond my pay grade. It's outright crazy, frankly. What do you have to do sometimes? To... Oh, thanks. Okay. But, like I was saying before, there are only a couple of damage types in Demon Souls besides normal physical. And the big thing is that magic is very, very effective on pretty much everything in the game. Which means that the easy mode of the game is essentially just playing a standard wizard. And that makes pretty much... Wait, what? Thanks for the super horn. I'm gonna hit you with lightning. And... Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. The nay -nay. And... Let's not get too close. That and... Oh, my... Okay. So, with that... And... Really? I did not even think I'd touch that. Stupid. Okay, and let's go over there. Thank you. That and I could have done that shortcut if I'd seen that earlier and I miss that? What? Whatever. Okay. And I didn't that either. Stupid, stupid. I uh, my familiarity is weak. Come on. Just gotta Aim as much as I can for this here. And then, okay, cool. Time for the star, and there. And come on, come on. It's my best not to. And then there's a decent shortcut to take close by. There we go. And let's aim for this, and there we are. Cool. Hmm, control I have is leaving a little bit to be desired. Alright, and let's go get that. I don't think I'm getting first, but. Cool, and alright, alright, and. Thank you, thank you. Nice! Finally! 
<laughs> Finally, <laughs> bow. Okay. Still in last. But what is very interesting is that Demon Souls also has a luck stat. Like Dark Souls 3 does. Okay, time for Dolphin Shoals. Saxophone, saxophone solo, saxophone solo course. Did you did you see someone performing the Dolphin Shoals saxophone part as a solo with their high school jazz band or something? This was years ago, but someone did do that because it was in key, whatever song they were playing, or maybe they changed the key. You used to play trombone, right? I did, yeah. Yeah, I miss when I played saxophone. You know. The main reason I stopped was frankly just they're so expensive to own. Most quote unquote real instruments are, except for guitars. And to be fair, you know, the kind of guitar you can get for cheap is not going to be amazing. But the difference between a cheap guitar and a great guitar is not as much as the difference between, say, a cheap saxophone slash. Oh my goodness, that was embarrassing. A cheap saxophone slash clarinet, or just any kind of woodwind in general. Because it's just, there are far more ways you can mess that up, you know? In the end, it's just, you know, strings versus a very carefully, narrowly shaped tube. You know, not just strings, but... Well, also, for a guitar, you know, a lot of it, especially with an electric guitar, it's mechanical components. Which means you can, you know, you can machine at least parts of it, which I would presume help in terms of making things somewhat cheaper. But either way, oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. I totally missed that. And I should, I should steal that. I don't think I managed to steal that mushroom. I think you can steal people's mushrooms, right? I think if, you can. If you touch them, if they have the triple, yeah. pretty sure you can. Remember. I know you can hit other people's shells, but... Goodbye, Polaris. Back to hell with you. I mean, Canada. Same thing. Okay. And... Not gonna work. Just, I'm not good enough to get a snipe off of the banana. Poor Polaris. They do so well. You know, they're probably the most skilled in a base sense, but... You know, that can't compensate for Battlelock. Okay. Is. Mario Kart is fun. It's largely skill based. There's enough of luck in it. Partially keep things interesting, but also just. Uh, come on, and. Let's see, and just. What? What? No, no, no. I hit that wall, you've got to be kidding me. Ugh! Ugh! Hate this. Okay. Because he's 10 behind. Me. Yeah. But you should play Sekudo eventually. I do recommend it. I wouldn't recommend okay, Electro Drill. Doing what I did, which is there's this thing called the Bell Demon. Which is there's this evil bell that you ring. That among other things it increases item drop chance from certain enemies, especially for rare stuff that you might want to grind and or upgrade your prosthetic tools, because you know about the prosthetic in Sekiro? I'll take that as a no. Basically, the entire gimmick of the game is... Your character is one-armed, effectively, because he gets his arm cut off. And uses this sort of modified ninja prosthetic in order to fight. And one part of the game's customization is in... Strengthening yourself with these prosthetic tools, which... You know, you get pretty early on, but beyond the ability to just use them, you also get skills that upgrade them and just straight up upgrades to their base capabilities. You know, various variant versions of the tools that are better or at least different in certain ways. And I should have hit you in midair, but that was not in the cards. And as I was saying, to upgrade your tools, you need certain items, which normally are going to be drops from certain enemies, especially more difficult and rarer ones. But 
beyond that. Sometimes you can find them as treasure, but the big thing is that they tend to be relatively low drop chances, uh, lead to sort of meaningful choices between what you upgrade and what you don't. But the Demonic Bell also just increases drop chances, which can allow you to get more things, but in addition, it also moves the difficulty of enemies for quote-unquote one stage effectively, as in... As the game goes on, enemies, even in areas you've already been to, will get harder. It's kind of similar to Bloodborne's time of day system, which I don't presume you would be all that familiar with, but it's the same It's the same kind of thing. And, let's see. Oh my goodness. I, am I going to hit myself in my own shell? Okay, I'm not. That's good. But, the big thing is that getting the Bell Demon effectively moves enemy difficulty forward by one change of time of day and what you've got to be kidding that was vile how was i supposed to avoid that and how did you how did you smuggle up bob on in the first place too stupid well whatever really really whatever come on i feel like i'm getting bullied i probably am <laughs> Uh, I guess that's just Mario Kart. Yeah. Get Mario Karted. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that video? I don't one think with... I have, actually. Okay, Matt Wario. The one with Daisy. It's from Mario Kart Wii, where Daisy goes from first oh, to last. Oh, I, I have. That, that yeah. That's so good. It's one of the wildest things I've seen ever, period. Just the shells, the bullet bill, just getting knocked off the bridge by a heavy enough razor. It's crazy. Hmm. Three, two, one, go. Playing with the me is still wild. I respect it. What? what? Oh my goodness. This is why I hate. Go off the edge already. I did. Well, not off the edge, but just. Onto the rough, onto the rough terrain. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I do intensely respect the knee grind. I like the blooper hat too. It's cute. This fit is necessary for the highest possible acceleration. Oh my goodness. You know, maybe, maybe I should just ape whatever it ability It might not doing. be helping me all that much. How did I get hit? What did I get hit by? Um, I accidentally it? tossed a red shell backwards. Thank you. <laughs> it got me. As I'm sure you can tell. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's just do a bit of catching up, I guess. And, uh, 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 mm -hmm. I almost sniped myself. Almost. You should have. It would have been really, really it funny. Been, yeah, it would have been funny. And it also would have given me a better chance of catching up. See where my biases lie? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, and... Two again. Now, sometimes I get first through sheer dumb luck. Definitely not skill. Oh my goodness, I thought this part was so... Uh, get the slalom part. And we... Oh, I missed that. Do you find it funny that there's a course whose entire idea is basically just, what if skiing in Mario Kart? And, come on, come on. Give me a red shell, give me a red shell. No red shell, you've got to be kidding me. Well, whatever. Alright, cool. Let's get that cheeky second. Okay, cool. Sorry! Okay. I, I hit a banana. banana. It's over. You hit a banana? A banana? That's insane. It reminds me that when I took... When I took the medication for my worms, it was banana flavored, and my dad, who... My dad really likes actual banana... Okay, quad top cruise. Actual bananas. But he despises anything that's artificially banana flavored. And he made sure to make his displeasure known. I was just kind of... You know, you're not the one taking it. Why do you care? 
also that's like an entirely different type of banana flavor. In what sense? Medication versus candy or something? I mean, like, general artificial banana flavoring. It's from some extinct kind of banana. They just never change it. Oh! Oh, that's interesting, because if I recall correctly, it's Cavendish that they usually run. I mean, that's usually the kind of banana they make nowadays. I didn't know it was extinct. No, it's like a different... The, the ones we have now is completely different. Yeah. I know that people make... That we use different kinds of bananas, but I didn't know that the previous cons were outright extinct. That's new to me. Sorry. You didn't deserve that. If only I could have specifically targeted Polaris. Well, whatever. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's kind of sad. Poor banana. They didn't deserve it. And... Thank you, and... Okay. That was sad on Polaris' part. Oh my goodness. They tried to get me with a green shell snipe. Simply did it not work. Almost worked. It almost worked. Almost. Emphasis on almost. Come on, come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you do that to me. Tastes like. What do you mean, tastes like pain? As in, tastes like pain medication, or is it actually hurt you? It tastes like flowers. Reminds me that. It's called Thrills? I don't know if it's Canadian or British, but there's a chewing gum that very specifically tastes like soap. I didn't see the lightning, that was embarrassing. And... They market it specifically for tasting like soap. And... Poor Polaris. They keep taking L's. You know, I'm fine with this though, they deserve it after oppressing us for so long. I know they heard that. And, oh, well, you blocked that pin in your mouth. Oh, is not just tastes really bad? Okay. Makes sense. And, come on. Thank you. Did that knock you into the void, or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Sorry. I was still hauled directly to the end of the... Oh, nice. Launch, so. That's big. And, can we get someone, or... Let me see. Oh, my goodness. Let's try to do this then and take that and let's not die. That was a weirdly good performance for me. That's exciting. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're back on the board. Back on the board. <laughs> Moosh and I can come back. Watch it. Thank you, thank you. When I inevitably come in last place, it won't be by as much. That's good. Don't enjoy doing this. But, as I was saying, mm. Oh, you have two crowns. It'd be funny if we all had three crowns in the end. I don't know. But, that like, would be really funny. It would be funny. I don't, I'm not sure it's possible, though. I don't think we can because of... Maybe if we did 48, because that's divisible by 3. Because we'd all have to get the, an equal number of every kind of finish in order to get that number of points for each of us. Okay. But, as I was saying, the whole gimmick with my Souls runs is that I do it quote-unquote equal stats, as in leveling every single stat evenly. And, or at least the idea, because some games actually don't let you start out with... Oh my goodness, that was really embarrassing. Some some Souls games don't let you start out with equal amounts of every stat. So I just have to start with whatever one gets me the closest, or usually is just the lowest level, and try to get there from that. And... Because, for example... Bloodborne, and it's interesting that the two ones that are specifically Sony exclusive both do not let you start with equal stats. But Bloodborne does not have an actual equal stat starting class. What it does have is a starting class that starts out lower than every other. And if you level it up to the same level as the others start at, you can get functionally an equal stats build for that. And oh my goodness, I'm doing so bad here. And Demon Soul simply does not have that because its starting classes are balanced in an entirely different way, which is that 
the lower level starting classes just have better items starting out. So, there's a royalty class that starts at level 1, but has actually a decent amount of very strong and rare items. So what's really funny is that, one, that's going to be the best way for me to actually get to equal stats. It'll still take 22 level ups to do that. But, in addition to that, I'll also start with the stronger the two basic magic catalysts. And also just a ring that allows for mana regeneration, which is going to be quite nice. And I keep falling off that specific ledge. Literally what gives. Well, it gives them a bad at the game, but that's life. Come on, come on. Let's get the two. Yeah, yeah, it is really, really convenient. I did a bit of testing out in Demon Souls since I was able to play it, and... There we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for st sniping Polaris for me. And that really helped out. Back in first cobble. But, like I was saying, like I was saying, I went to, I think I mentioned this before, but the private server that I've connected to to mimic network functions, okay, Bowser's Castle, to mimic network functions allows you to change the world state between pure white and pure black and neutral just manually. Which otherwise is just a really obscure system, which is basically hidden from the player. Or at least, the way you interact with it is largely hidden. But, the way that the fan server does it is that leaving specific messages in the hub area allows you to manually change the world tendency, which unlocks certain weapons and other in-game events. So the big thing is that there is a side area in the initial literally the starting level, just immediately off the side once you start the very first level of the game with a number of things, but I went in there and even though the enemies were a bit spicy for me, I was able to beat them just by kiting them and spamming magic. And the only reason I was able to actually make it work is because I had my mana regeneration and was able to just wait to get the mana I needed to cast my soilers back. It is very, very interesting to me that after Demon Souls had a very standard mana system, they switched to a almost Dungeons and Dragons-like sort of spell slot system for Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, and then switched back to it from, Demon from Dark Souls 3 onward. It does... It's very, very interesting, and I do find it kind of funny because on one hand, it technically, the spell cast system is not the oldest thing Souls has done, as Demon Souls had a mana system, but Dark Souls 1 was my first Souls game, so it is sort of, a, you know, the thing you do first is the thing to like the best for me. But what I do like specifically about it is that you can't just use all your mana on one single kind of spell. You have to vary your spell uses depending on what gifts you still have cast for, and you can't just use all your mana on the one best thing, which forces a bit more creativity in my opinion. And it also just is very D&D-like, which I do appreciate and enjoy. Because a lot of Souls has a lot of very plain influences. And the most obvious one is, as you probably know, Berserk. Have you heard about that? How Dark Souls is kind of, in a certain sense, arguably basically a Berserk fan game. Cobble. I have before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially a few years back. In what way? What about a few years back? I mean, all the talk about Berserk back when the author died. Oh, oh, when Miura died, right. Yeah. That was embarrassing for me. But, what's also very interesting is that there are a number of other more obscure references. Because one recurring boss... Sort of a mini boss slash boss enemy in Elden Ring. Is is this group of crystal people called the Crystallians, and among other things, their designs are almost directly taken from a series of game books called Sorcery, which my dad actually read as a kid. Which are they're basically choose your own adventure games with a stat system. 
with dice mediated battles. So basically, kind of like playing D&D &D with a book as a dungeon. Ma oh, hi, Surter. How are you doing? We are playing through Mario Kart's 96 courses right now. At least that's the idea. I am currently getting my butt kicked, which is normal. That's life. Okay. Oh, I braked and I still went off the edge. You've got to be kidding me. I, I feel so oppressed. I feel so it, oppressed right now. It takes a bit to get the hang of it. But... Yeah. Right now, it really is hanging me. And I, oh, come on. But basically, it's a fight between Polaris and Cobble, the current number two and number one, as to who's going to beat me by more. Of course, I, I, I've literally been talking about how bad I am right now the entire time. It's not exactly the kind of thing I can deny. But oh, there we go. Well, I'm that far behind. That's crazy. Okay. But, as I was saying... Sorry. As I was saying, it is interesting how the sorcery game books are one of, at least for Elden Ring, an influence. Because normally people just talk about Berserk or sometimes Zelda. And that is kind of the thing that I've realized that a lot of my game tastes are basically mediated by me being a former big Zelda fan who kind of got disappointed in the direction the rest of the series took. That is not true. I don't think you were there. You weren't there for the end of Minecraft. But when Larry and I had our final duel at the end of Dawncraft, I obliterated him. He did not have any way to get rid of me. Yeah. I, I agree that most of the time I do get humiliated. But you enjoy it, and that's the important thing. Goodness. What do you mean it's not the same? Because you're a sadist and the only thing that interests you is when I get beaten up. I mean, we all know that we all know that's the answer. You don't have to hide it. Okay. And come on, come on. That's uh, please. Oh what? You're kidding! Oh my goodness. Uh I'm so bad at this. This rainbow, uh, this rainbow road always always was like one of the rougher ones. Rainbow rough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rainbow scuffed. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just don't have enough handling, frankly. Hey, Yoshi Circuit, guys. I think I should. I think I'm gonna win this one. It's Yoshi Circuit, and I'm playing as Yoshi. We're on to one of the first non-base game Wii U courses. That's exciting. We're gonna loop back to the- we're gonna loop back to the base game Wii U courses eventually, but for right now. Eventually. Yeah. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. Two, one, go. Thanks. I mean, in the end, when I boast, it's or it's only to make it more funny when I inevitably just get put back in my place. And let's not get hit by that shell. Oh goodness. Oh, oh, we got that hands. Come on, and ooh. This corner. Tightwing. And ooh, ooh. There we are. Oh, that did quite work. Hmm. Question is, who can I maybe get rid of this? I hmm. Nope, 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 nope. Thank you, thank you. Who is we? I think it's just you. I do appreciate you believing me, though. Come on, come on, come on. Are you using the royal Wii? I prefer the royal Wii U. And I... I'm not sure I ever told any of you this story, but... I actually... When I was a lot younger... I won a GameStop competition as a little kid to get a free Wii U. Which is the only reason we had a Wii U, and it was funny because it was right after we got a Wii. Using my dad's frequent flyer miles. And before that, the only consoles we had had were a... Xbox, a Dreamcast, and a GameCube in that order. And... 
you see, the reason my the reason I ended up as weird as I did is because my dad literally raised me on video game OSTs. I'm not kidding. We would listen to the Jet Set Radio Future soundtrack in the car when I was a kid a lot. And that shaped my music taste intensely. Channel of the Leclerc that is in me. I didn't know Leclerc was in me. It's a little scary, actually. What? How did that... No. That sucked. See? Exactly. I'm doing badly even though this is Yoshi Circuit. Come on, come on in. Oh my goodness. Alright. Hmm. So embarrassing. Yeah, I guess Such it is. Such a good start, too. Such a good start, too. I just don't know any of the maps anymore. I don't know any of the maps anymore. Excited by Arena. Oh, this is the one where Polaris got that green shell snipe that they sent me a clip of. It was very scary. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Let's do this then. When you say that, do you mean do you mean Lincoln Park? Do you mean Lincoln Park? I know I, I've said in the past that eventually I need to do an early early two thousands new metal and alt rock karaoke stream, maybe even just a pure Lincoln Park stream, and that I would need Larry to come and do the rap for that. Well, actually. He's just dumb now. He gave up on he gave up on anonymity because he didn't want to change his he didn't want to change his Wii pro his me's name I mean his profile name when we did Dokapon. I can't. I tried figuring out and learning and I just could not do it. How did you what? There's no way they saw that coming. There's no way they saw that coming. How did they dodge that? It's ridiculous. Okay. And just come on, come on. Well, he just doesn't care anymore because, like I said, he did not want to change his system name. So just, that ship sailed. That ship entirely sailed. And, oh, please. What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? And just, can we... What? Oh, they've got to be looking behind them, aren't they? Definitely got the course memorized and just looking behind themselves. Okay, whatever. And did that? Okay. Ooh, ooh. I almost got hit by the bananas they all dropped. Whatever. Okay. Come on, come on. They got a green shell snipe on me. I'm gonna commit Harakiri. Well, by memorizing the layout of the track. That's how you do it. And come on. Let's pull ahead real quick, and... Nice. There we go! Finally! First place! Nice. There we go. Had to throw all those behind me at the end in case someone was trying something silly. It is! But keep in mind, Polaris is also an X-ranked Splatoon 3 player, so... Also, that the layout of Excite Bike Arena is really not all that complex. Yeah. Hi, no, it's literally just looking behind you like every like five seconds. Welcome back! Hi! Good to see you. There we go. I mean, hear you. Good, good to hear you. Yeah. Excite Bike, Excite Bike Complex? I find it quite simple, actually. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's that one that's a picture of, of the one Ogawa building from Kari no Kyokai. Apartment complex? Actually, I thought it got- wait, actually, no, this is pretty confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I will say... Oh, also... Stressing... Stressing is a fate anti. So, I make sure to bring up- I make sure to bring up fate at every possible opportunity. No, that is an entirely different person. Emmerich is not here. Emmerich said that they did not want to be on stream. I'm not sure if it's because they didn't want to be docs or were afraid of saying something that might get me cancelled. I don't know. 
I think it might be a little bit of both. Yeah, you never said. Well, you might have not said you were a fate anti, but you said you had fate seers related trauma, which actually makes me look worse. But oh my goodness! Of course, I'm gonna get hit by that. Okay. Yeah. And he just didn't you say he he also had just the most incredibly basic taste in fate characters too? Because my cousin, my cousin is a big fate guy. But he's a Medusa fan, and I respect that. I respect that intensely. Also because, to be fair, some of the some of the better Fate authors are also big Medusa fans too. Oh, Astolfo is, for better or worse, Astolfo is one of the most basic Fate character tastes to have. Astolfo is one of the few Fate characters or people who don't really know Fate usually know too. But. Yeah. Oh my goodness. How am I gonna... Oh, please. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I... Oh, come on. I missed that entirely. You've gotta be kidding me. Embarrassing. I didn't get the drift off. I'm... I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Come on. Just... Let me get that. Let me get that. It was Jean. And that was... Okay, well, there, there are John fans on stream right now, so... There we go. Of course. I'm brutalized. We, we, won't, we won't brook, we won't brook fate John of our slider, at least not today. I guess the question is, did he mean normal John, or did he mean Jalter? Because there's a very significant difference between John and Jalter. A very significant difference, it's and city. it's also like a 50 50 chance. Yeah. Yeah. Was it normal Joan of Arc? Or was it Goth Joan of Arc? It is honestly wild to me. Fair. How pretty much every Gasha game has both a Joan of Arc character and a Goth Joan of Arc character. Well, the difference is that one is normal Joan of Arc, and the other is goth Joan of Arc. Well, actually, more specifically... Okay. It's time for the Fate War Dump. It's time for the Fate War Dump. Basically... In... In the Fate series, and is originally... It was explicitly a sort of corruption, but as time gone on, went on, it became a gasha, and they needed ways to fit in more characters, more variants of characters. There's this idea of alteration, which is basically a version of a servant that shows off more unpleasant or at least less known sides of their legend. Because it's not always just them being evil or worse, sometimes it's just them being different. But in the case of Jean at least, it is explicitly a sort of evil corruption. And in FGO, at least, they introduced a normal John Alter later that was explicitly an actual corrupted John. But the Jalter in FGO is explicitly not even the real John at all. She's literally an edgy OC created by Hilda Ray, aka Bluebeard, one of her followers in one of the earliest story missions of the game. Saber is basic, but Saber is the good kind of basic. Anyone who hates Saber is. If you hate Saber, you have an evil soul. I'll say that much. But no, literally. She's literally an edgy OC to the point that when she was made playable, the event that made her playable was almost explicitly about basically giving her a stronger basis for existing, and a stronger basis as a character, so that she could, you know, have an existence on her own outside of being someone's one-time only edgy OC. And even then, she's also still explicitly only extant, at least that version of a Jean Alter within the Fate Grand Order timeline. It's a lot of BS to justify lots of, you know, gosh related things, you know, why such and such character is playable and normally they wouldn't and shouldn't be. But that's life. But you almost got that snipe off, Polaris. You almost <laughs> got that snipe off. Then, then Samurai Remnant would put in, like, an actual genuine Alter, but that's another story entirely. Yeah, basically the idea of that Jalter is just... 
a Jean who decided to forsake or basically vow the saint to save one person specifically, right. which is frankly baby park, baby park, baby bark. Frankly, really, really boring, because there was a lot of speculation early on that another concept in fate. Because the entire idea is that servants aren't just the person from history or from legend, especially since they have to be from legend too at times. It's they're always influenced by cultural perceptions of them. And in certain cases, there are examples of what are called innocent monsters. And the biggest one, if I recall correctly, is essentially Vlad the Third. It was a number of servant versions, and essentially the idea is just... The idea of him being Dracula is made up BS that he hates. But it's important enough to his cultural identity that even though he despises it, all of his servant manifestations are in part influenced by Dracula, or at least by the idea of Vlad the Impaler. And there are a lot of people thinking that the idea of John Alter in Samurai Remnant is a sort of different John Alter was going to be essentially a John who was influenced by sort of the idea of Joan of Arc before she was canonized as a saint, which actually happened in the early 1900s, which I didn't even know until people were talking about it. But essentially, before Jean was canonized, there were a lot of conflicting opinions on her. There were some people... I, Forget it was. I forget who it was exactly. I think it was not Bertrand Russell. A, a, there was a British playwright who wrote a sort of secularized story of Joan of Arc. Is early in the 1900s, among other things. And oh, I I could have dodged that. I'm, I'm an idiot. But as I was saying, one of the earliest cultural depictions of Joan of Arc was actually in, among other things, still third place. Come on as La Pucelle, aka, you know, French for the Virgin, as an antagonistic figure in one of Shakespeare's plays. It was one of the Henrys, I believe, either Henry VII or Henry VIII. But the idea a lot of people had is that since... The idea is that it's explicitly said, okay, Cheeseland, that Jean is incorruptible and can't have an altar normally, and of course they retconned that for reasons that were ultimately very stupid, but people thought, okay, maybe it's because... Since the game takes place in the 1500s, long before she really had perception as a saint, and the only thing that would have been around would have been... The closest thing would have been Shakespeare stuff. Actually, I think... I forget whether it was 1700s or... I think it was 1800s, right? Samurai Remnant? I keep forgetting. I don't remember when. I know it was, you know, after Musashi's death, but I don't have that date off the top of my head. I don't either. Yeah. I'm not enough of a real weeb. But the big thing is... The idea is that the cultural perception of Jean at the time would basically be largely Shakespeare stuff, where she was a villain, so it would be a time-dependent innocent monster, and that would con confirm some interesting theories that these sort of negative cultural perceptions influencing the manifestations of these heroes would be, you know, time-dependent, because they kind of have to be, in the sense that as of right now, you know, out of the universe of fiction, this sort of perception Every single character in Fate right now is influenced by our current modern perception by necessity, meaning that, you know, as reason would follow, the cultural perception of the time specifically would influence manifestation. But then that just didn't end up being what happened at all, which I guess makes sense, because you wouldn't expect, you know, the average ja Japanese author to be incredibly familiar with Shakespeare. Indubitably. Thank you for the follow, Junjun Moi. What are you... were you commenting on what we were saying about cultural perceptions of historical figures and legendary figures, or... Either way, thanks for the fall. We are currently playing through... We're about a sixth of the way through right now. We did not get everyone we wanted initially, because people, I guess, don't pay attention to scheduling. Yeah, I'm getting my butt beat right now, but that's fine. How are you doing? We're chilling in cheese land. Oh, oh! I guess this is time for... The classic question, what is everyone's favorite kind of cheese? I'm, I'm more of a dark cheddar guy. It, I respect that. I'm very much a blue cheese guy. I like cheddar too, but right now I've got a big thing of white cheddar popcorn I'm chilling with, actually. That's good to hear. But here, Gorgonzola, Gorgonzola's peak. Gorgonzola is eternally peak. And, can, oh, that's not gonna hit. Sad. And, let's go over there. And,. Come on, dodge, 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 I mean, not dodge, but there we go. It's okay. 
I've given up plenty of times, too. But, like I was saying... So we talked about Sekiro, we talked about Fate. Sold in Ricotta. I haven't had a lot of Ricotta in my life. Ricotta's good, but Provolone is... Okay, Wild Woods. Oh, no, 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 oh my goodness. If this, uh -oh. if this does cheese land, I'm going to die. We can select a single race, right? Right, right. We might have to do that. No! No! Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm making a note. Note to do... Oh my goodness. Uh... I hope everyone likes cheese land. Happy 20, 23rd race, everybody. Okay. You know, I would say that I can't believe that both times we accidentally got the wrong- we almost- The first time a wrong course was picked was me, and so was the second time, but unfortunately I can very much believe that. It's all that- it's all that sleep deprivation oh, from yeah, playing but, but the first yesterday. time it didn't actually pick that course. Yeah, but still, both times that someone accidentally put in the wrong course, it was me. I'm losing grip- I'm losing my grip on my sanity. Also, the other thing is- I don't think you saw this, but- Right now, the event going on in God Forbid Genshin is a super boss event, where just they have insanely souped up versions of. There we go, of games of the game's bosses, and I tried beating it on sort of getting the highest medal, but it's just not possible unless you're an actual whale, because you have to do it in the hardest difficulty with no power ups, and in addition to that, you have to. Oh my goodness, that that really really sucked. <laughs> Neither of us did that properly. Yeah, we both got screwed up. You have to do it on the highest difficulty, which basically means none of the power-ups you get to deal with the bosses, and also a really, really strict time limit. So, the bosses do a lot of damage, and it's also just an insanely strict DPS check, too. And even with using a very new character with their ideal 5-star weapon, because I actually rolled for Arlequino's side because of the drip aspect, and I just couldn't hack it. I had the teams that other people would use to get Platinums, with decent artifacts and very upgraded skills. I actually, I crowned Bennett and John Wing last night, with Bennett C6, in order to try to beat it, and I just could not do it. It was just way beyond my pay grade. Which felt funky, but, you know, in a, in a very, very certain sense, it's kind of like when my FGO streak broke, in that, you know, I don't have to worry about being perfect anymore, because that ship has sailed. You know what I mean? I'm still wondering whether we'll be able to get everyone this coming patch. Because they have two five-star characters. And I don't have all that much saved up, especially because of the ones that got introduced. I mean, because I rolled for the weapon, but still. Yeah, it it's funky. It's funky. Well, that was embarrassing. Okay, Wild Woods. What if I picked Cheeseland a third time? What that I... would be only mildly funny. Only mildly. Only mildly. Yeah, ma imagine, imagine. 96, 96 course Mario Kart rally okay, and every single one is cheese this time. Exactly. Yeah, 96 course Mario Kart rally and every single course is cheese land. 96 cheese land rally. But as I was saying... If you... If you remodeled and retextured every course to look like Cheese Land, but still have its original layout, that could work. That would be interesting. It'd be like Final Destination versions in Smash Brothers. Oh, oh. It was really, really funny that... Because I was hanging out with some of the boys a little while ago, and we were all playing Smash Brothers, well, except for me, because it's been a while and I didn't want to embarrass myself. But... Jack was actually there with his new girlfriend, and it was really, really funny because she was really, really enthusiastic about, you know, as you might expect, watching Jack just trounce us all and sometimes actually winning three-on-ones. And afterwards, he basically said that, you know, you know that she's the one when she's gonna get excited watching you sit down and beat your boys at Smash Brothers. You know, I'm very, very happy for them. Very, very happy for him in that sense. I think I think they have the exact they have the exact kind of weird that matches each other if you if you and in exchange for talking about other people's personal lives I fell off the course. It is it, it really was cute. I did not want to embarrass myself. I really didn't because it had been 
about half a year since the last time I played Smash Brothers, and even when I had still played it somewhat regularly, I sucked. It was really funny, because back in high school, which was years ago at this point, the school would put on these tournaments, and I would consistently get second in pretty much every game, just by running away and letting other people handle things. I would just run away, let everyone else kill each other in Smash, and that was what would let me win. Well, not win, but just survive. Thank you very much. Like I said, as long as long as people are entertained, I, I don't worry. I don't worry about how embarrassed I get. It's just... It's just about that entertainment factor. If I embarrass myself and people aren't entertained, that's a total loss. But as long as people are having fun. As long as people are having fun, we go. And, ooh, goodness. That, that green shell completely rebounded. It's insane. What do you mean by paper? As in, I'm willing to let people tear me up or something? That is... Oh my goodness. I, I just don't know where that shortcut is. Oh, right! When I... Well, a couple of times I ate paper because I just went crazy, or in one time because I was a baby. But the other times I've eaten paper, it was always for entertainment. And both of those times it was... Oh yeah, Cobble, you were there. We were at P.F. Chang's to eat Mapo Tofu for the Fate reference. Yeah, that one. Where I managed to wiggle the fortune the fortune slip out of the fortune cookie and ate the fortune and gave someone else the cookie. I did that I did that again on a bus when I was on a choir tour a couple years after that. And that was fun too. But they didn't believe me because I had a bottle of water to wash it down and they weren't close enough to see. And I think a lot of them assumed that I basically spat it out in the bottle of water. Which I should have thought about and just kinda did it dry I guess or put in water in my mouth beforehand. Why, why am I thinking about the mechanics of... Thinking about the mechanics of proving that I actually ate paper on a tour bus. This, this hasn't been relevant for literal years. Well, the real answer is that... The only reason I live at this point is for the bit. Literally all I have in life is committing to the bit. I can't believe that there all of those bullets are scaring me. things you could live for. Yeah, exactly. So. I could be... I could be a committed violent criminal, but instead I decided to be in it. I decided to be an internet clown instead. I think that in the end, even if one is more embarrassing, one is probably also better than the other. Oh my- Oh, come on! Not the bob on. got to be kidding me. I'm getting bullied here! I'm getting bullied. Okay. Come on, come on. I guess that's what I get for picking- She's like, the second time. Oh, come on. I mm, oh! Ah, come on. I'm going insane. Who do I? Please, please, please. Let's go and get this. And this, and let me catch up, let me catch up. Let's use that star, and we can kind of cut that corner then. Cut that corner, and... Didn't hit that banana. Didn't really need to, though. And please... Oh, no! The box obscured the banana. I mean, I did kind of see it, but... This is really the Murphy's... Thank you, thank you. Did you see me, or were you just... Did you just, just do that, essentially? I just threw green shells. Oh my goodness. Talk about battle log. Okay, bullet bill time. Bullet bill time. Mostly doctors. Yeah. Every time, every time you tell me about something your doctor has said to you, I always worry a little. Uh, I wonder about the quality of that advice. Or at least about the propriety. Some, sometimes they say things that I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't dare say on stream. Okay, and just... Ooh, piranha plant. And then we can get... Oh, but I... Still second. Well, no. as long as you're having fun. As long as you're having fun. And there we go. Still in dead last. Guys, if I got a bunch more first places, I could catch up. I could catch up. It won't happen, but I could. It could happen. Yeah. Maybe. So, Cobble... Are you excited for the Elden Ring deal? Oh my goodness, Moo Moo Meadows Cow? Hello. Have you seen that picture that's just a photoshopped version of little Moo Moo Meadows sort of flash thumbnail, but the title of the course is just replaced with the word hello? I remember that a few months ago there was this trend on Twitter where people were making edits of the Moo Moo Meadows thumbnail to just make it either really cute or really scary or something. They had... Me meow 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 does and it was this weird cat cow or mood mood wow wow so it was all pastel and then they had doom doom dead which was like the evil hamburger helper thing 
You know the evil the evil version of the hamburger helper mascot? <laughs> Just a glimpse into my fucked up world. Just a glimpse of my twisted reality would drive <laughs> the average person insane. Comments on the, on their <laughs> organs? Oh oh, it's in your health values. I thought you meant that they were they were gonna harvest your organs. So, so what kind of doctor are you going to? Man, Italy's fucking way. Yeah, fucking exactly. Don't don't, don't make a mafia joke. Don't make a mafia joke. She'll get offended. She. she that's what happens when someone lives in South Italy. Let's not get. I'm sorry. That was sad. <laughs> It was bound to happen eventually. You got Mario Karted. You got Mario Karted. I got Mario Karted. <laughs> you got Mario Karted. I got Mario Karted. in the face with my green shell. Well, that's what you deserve, then. Don't shot. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what they say in The Princess Bride? Never never gamble with a Sicilian when your life is on the line. I know that... <laughs> apparently the... those words to heart. Yeah, exactly. Apparently the book version of The Princess Bride is different and arguably better. And, you know, the entire framing device of the movie is that the grandpa is reading a book to his son, but it's apparently a real book, which I did not know. Or at the very least, didn't have a lot of awareness of. Which is interesting. Now, you did say that if my modeler slash rigger tries to scam me or something, that I should tell them that I have a Sicilian viewer who knows how to skin a rabbit, and that it might successfully scare them away. Hopefully. There we go! Look what I said! If I get in first place, I can so maybe catch up! No. No. I'm just glad- no. Did you get hit again? Did you get hit again? No. Okay. We were bouncing off each other right at the end there. What can I say? It's magnetism. It's friendship. It's magnetism. Mag- magnetism? Get Mario Circuit. But- It's mag magnetism. Mag- mathmatic? I'm- I I'm gonna die for this one, but- Cobble, I know I've been trying to tap you for the eventual six-man or so Elden Ring playthrough, and I know you said you wanted to be a Dex, maybe? Rabbits and pigs. Oh, so that's why you talked about drawing me as a pig. Because you wanted to kill me, clean my corpse, and turn me into sausage. That makes sense. You know, as long as you're watching, maybe give a big enough donation first and I'll be willing to let it happen. You know, enough to enough to pay for my sister's college, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, I can I can turn my streaming career into cannibalistic self-sacrifice for the sake of my sister's education. I didn't just say that. I didn't just say that. But I know that TB also expressed interest in doing a Dex build for the exact same reason as you, as in Kojiro cosplay. So I'm wondering what, because they're there would be six build options in the six men Elden Ring playthrough, the way I think it'd be cool to do. Extremely out of character. Because I mentioned cannibalism and you have a principled opposition to cannibalism as one should. Understandable. Well, it is interesting that... This, this might get a bit weird, but... I think I told you before about the time that a guy got his hip taken out, as in you stressing, about the time a guy got his hip taken out and cooked and ate it. He said it either tasted like chicken or pork, I believe. I know that in Papua New Guinea, where they have a strong tradition, or at least used to, of sort of reverential religious cannibalism in the sense that when their elders would die, the entire community would eat them so that they could kind of live on inside of them and maybe, I think, maybe assume some sort of ancestral memory. But the big thing is that... Uh, in most nations, cannibalism is, isn't illegal, it's just... Usually, there, understandably, isn't an ethical way to get human meat. Due to rules regarding how to treat corpses and... Another first place finish? What on earth? No shot! No yeah. shot! No yeah. shot! I locked in! I locked in! Lock in. Lock in. But, as I was saying... There have been in some high-profile instances of people... You know, offering themselves up as meat in cases, which is le which is illegal because they have to be killed. But, you know, if you have a body part removed and you eat it, no one's going to send you to jail. Exactly. So, in other words, in other words, the more unhinged I act, the better I'm going to do in the course. It happened two times out of two, which means it's obviously guaranteed and certain. But, as I was saying, there would be, ideally, six... 
six builds for ideally six people in the Elden Ring playthrough. And I would probably be able to get other people in if people left. You know, the way I'd probably do it, because I would want to do a bit of RP, basically have it be like summoning servants. And if someone wants to leave, I guess they just get unsummoned. I don't have any paper on hand, and especially not paper I'd be willing to eat. So I don't think that's going to be the option right now. There's a really significant... Of course you took that. Of course you took the double. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. But... Oh, nice! And that got... Thank you for getting Polaris for me. Huge job. Huge job. Oh my goodness. Crap! Sidestepper. But... Exactly. You might still win. You're better than us. And... Oh, that just took out the green shell. That's sad. Come on, come on, and... Oh, 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 oh. That... That actually doesn't surprise me. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting about the slipstream mechanic, because I haven't been able to really chase people from close enough to really make use of it. Okay, and that's going to get your banana. Banunu. Banono. Alright, and... Okay, we got that. And can... Ooh, alright, and... Oh, come on. Alright. Let's just... Uh, that won't work. That won't work. Can I use the slipstream to maybe catch up and get someone with this? Let's see. Let's see. Need to get this and oh my goodness, I went entirely the wrong way. So dumb. So dumb. And come on, slipstream. Let me. No, you mongrel! <laughs> I'm gonna consign you to the fires of hell. Oh my goodness. A discussion in... Oh, a discussion about the safest paper to eat. Banana. And the answer was... I really did get banana -aid. And... Literally, banana -aid. But... Like I was saying, there would ideally be six sort of... General character builds for the sort of RPG party effect and thanks. In the Elden Ring playthrough. Of course, you, you know, you have one person doing strength, one person doing dexterity, then intelligence and faith. And then ideally, actually, arcane among other things, and- oh my- come on! That was so close. I got you though! I got you though. I got you though. It didn't matter, but I got you. Obs obsessed in what kind of way? But... So the big thing would be, so there would be a warrior, a rogue, basically, then a wizard, and a cleric. And then the arcane build, which is... So arcane is interesting. I might have told you, but it's kind of like a Luxat, but actually kind of useful, because there are more things that scale off of it and require it. And then there'd be a tank who would build health and stamina so that they could wield really heavy shields and wear really, really heavy armor. And interesting. Which ones? I will judge him. But. Well, you know, South Italy. South Italy, man. But. I guess there's an argument that, in theory. Someone teaching technology, you might want them to have a strong sense of ethics. I don't know, so they don't consign the entire world to rule by AI or something. I don't know. Okay. And just over there, and come on, come on. Let's see if we can get the surfboard, and not- oh, we did not get the surfboard, that's sad. Uh, but, as I was every single one, interesting. And when you say existing, do you mean as in ones that- have historical backing or just the ones that some people talk about is what's really interesting is that there's a Saint Saint Josephat who has no historical attestation whatsoever because most of the others you know, whether you believe in the supernatural aspects or not at least have historical backing in the sense of it's generally considered that they existed as people but Saint Josephat is very explicitly and literally just Gautama Buddha through a Christianized lens. Literally just a Christian version of the story of Gautama Buddha. I'm not kidding. But there's also a Saint Brigid who in Ireland who is almost certainly literally just a Christianized version of the pagan goddess Brigid that people just venerated in order to keep worshipping Brigid because they didn't feel like stopping. And that broke my shell too, okay. But, good job, Polaris. Oh, wow. You know, one time, one time that did happen where other people yelled, yelled at the teacher because they made me sad. To be fair, I was kind of, I was kind of a, 
real crapper of a kid and a student at times, frankly, so... I don't exactly blame him. Did that hit anyone? That did not hit anyone. Oh my goodness. Did that hit anyone? I'm not sure. It hit both. <laughs> well, you know, deserved. Okay. Alright. But, like I was saying... Don't worry, unless it was somehow your fault. Which I don't presume it would be. And that missed him. But as I was, this was many, many, many years ago. And quite frankly, I deserved it. I was... And I wasn't even really trying, but I was... Frankly, very manipulative. As a high schooler. To the point that even though... Even though the teacher who... Kind of called me out on my BS was... Frankly, an awful person too. I do respect her for calling me out. It's kind of a sort of, you know, takes one to know one kind of thing, but... I'm glad that someone at least tried to knock me down. It was quite frankly deserved. Yeah, by the way, I think before our break, we're gonna do a single race just to get DK jungle done. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. I think we should just do cheese land a third time. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We're close, we're close. Then we can take a quick bathroom, maybe snack break, maybe. Yeah. Very least a bathroom break. We fill up on water. It's crazy to think we're almost a third of the way through already. And I'm still already. in dead last. It's... Actually, that part's been more than an hour and a half -ish? Yeah, yeah. So we'll be alright. Oh my goodness, that is bad. But, oh. yell that. Because of... Oh, comparison. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I... My sister went to the same high school that I did. But there was a year between me graduating and her starting. So there weren't a crazy amount of comparisons, which I think was good for her. And, come on, I hope that hits somebody. It won't hit anybody. It's not gonna hit anyone. Get it! Some people are just... It's not all teachers, or even most, but there are a lot of teachers who... never really got past high school in a lot of ways, and end up having habits of gossiping and stuff, and it's generally behaving very immaturely and improperly for a teacher, frankly. That happened a decent amount of times I've heard with one of the choir teachers I had, that she would just kind of get into it gossip-wise, like the high schoolers she taught, and just generally did not behave as maturely as she should have. It, it was certainly something, I will say. I never really got the brunt of it, because she only really did it with the girls' only choir most of the time, which... Obviously, I was not in, but I heard stories from other people that, you know, gossip would go on with her and some of the other students she had, and sometimes just other, not even just the all-girls choir, but just other classes she taught. She, other, she had some other small classes that she taught as well, but I did hear about her doing some gossip in too, and it was just sort of, you know, you, you're not in high school anymore. It's been years since you were in high school, literally 20 or so years. You know, I guess... I may, I might be a little different, because I don't consider high school to have been the best time of my life. I might have been, maybe not a star academically, but just, you know, I might have been decent at school, but it was enough stress that I don't really miss it, like a lot of other people seem to have, and yeah. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Okay. I jumped just far enough close. that my shell hit the banana <laughs> instead of me. Vile. It really is just kind of a, I guess that's life kind of thing, but still. Okay. So. Oh, but when he said if they would sit with him during the hour, I was afraid that it might have been something more insidious, but he was just, he himself was an insatiable gossip. That's crazy. It's wild. I mean, I will not lie. I would be dishonest if I said that I entirely hated hearing about gossip or tea or whatever you want to call it, dirt. But I won't pretend it's a good habit. What? Oh! Oh, it... Oh, so it was a... It was a pervy teacher thing. I, mi middle? Oh my... Oh my goodness. Did he... Did he get sanctioned by the school eventually, at least? I would hope so. Uh, that... That's kind of crazy. It's kind of insane. Well, I guess not insane, just distasteful. 
Let's stab it here. Come on, come on. Give me a bit more ends. I mean, the big thing, honestly, is just... Oh, oh. Okay, so... Well, among other things, that means that... Presumably, you at least didn't have to put up with most of the brunt of it if you didn't hear about it, so... I guess, in a certain sense, that's... Maybe... Oh, wow. So, was he able to just keep it undercover, or did people like him, or... How did he manage to get away with it? That... That's frightening. Okay, so I... Mmm... Let's make use of that shortcut. Come on, come on. Uh, please, please, please. Can I get in that slipstream? I... Oh, but that banana is gonna be noxious. It might be over for me. It might be Jover for me, too. It's definitely Jover. Well, I... That's not what I meant! You don't have to insult yourself. Okay, and... Oh, oh, that was a... How'd I mess that up? You're gonna catch up on me. You're gonna catch up on me. I messed up badly. Yep, yep, yep. I messed up really badly. And now you have that mushroom, and... You, know, you said it's Jover, and then you pass me. Well, actually... And then it still was over in the end. It still was. Why did, why did he slap you? Oh, that... It's unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the big thing is... I know that TB and Hayden probably would be shoe-ins for the Elden Ring thing if it happened, and, you know, me, of course. And Hayden said he wanted to do the Faith build, and I think TB... TB also said he might want to do Dax. So here's the question. Maybe Jack and Dom ideally might get involved? I just... I don't know. It always makes me feel kind of... It's always kind of... strange. I don't know. But, like I was saying, like I was saying... I would want to be running the Arcane build, because it would end up being the most scuffed build by far. And, you know, point of pride, I guess, but... I would probably have the most, or at least second most, Souls experience out of anyone in that six-man campaign. So I think it would be good, though, as a way to move myself. And, you know, make sure that I don't... You know, again, same thing, really, but don't outshine other people too much. I don't know. The big thing is, I wonder who would want to play tank? Because tanking in Elden Ring is actually relatively simple. Because there's a single talisman you equip that you can get from the start of the game that actually just automatically has you draw aggro from every single enemy. Just gives you aggro priority for free. So, there wouldn't have to be any kind of complicated aggro mechanics to make it work, it's just a matter of having the best possible shield and the best possible armor and knowing how to move the enemy away from everyone else. And it... I wouldn't call it boring, but it would be playing the game in a very different kind of way than everyone else who would be doing DPS or putting up buffs. So I'm wondering who would want to do that. You know, I would be willing to do that if necessary. It's just... I think the arcane build would probably be the hardest, so I'd like to do it myself if possible. I don't know. I know, I think you mentioned in the past that you might have wanted to do an intelligence build or a sort of wizard build when I was talking about it before, and that would allow you to use a lot of rock-based spells, which would be funny because of the whole cobble thing. I don't know. That would be funny. It would be. Though, to be fair, there are also rock-oriented spells for... rock-oriented spells for a faith build, but it's not they are... I would say that they aren't as strong as the rock-based spells for the intelligence build, because the rock-based spells for the faith build tend to be pretty low requirement, and just generally... They're not weak, but... The big rock-oriented spell for the intelligence build is literally a meteor shower, which... Is pretty good, and that didn't hit anyone. You're kidding. What in the... <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. But... Like I was saying, the strongest rock-type spell, basically, for an intelligence build is a literal meteor shower, which is as crazy as it sounds. And it's really, really good, especially on big enemies, and okay. 
We want to mark this in a notepad or something. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay, thanks. And then we can do a quick single race for DK Jungle. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just add that to the stretch one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's do a single race. Unless it carries the points over. It might. No, if it does. Oh, it just is four races? Oh, we can't... Hmm. We can't do a single race. three times and then one DK. Did you say cheese line three times? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I guess we'll have to... We can no, do... We can just pick random courses from the set we did after DK Jungle. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's do so this So first, first 32, we can just pick any from those after we do DK. Yeah. So I guess it'll be a 100 course rally instead, but that's life. Unless it's 101. Unless it is. No, okay. no, it would be. It would be exactly 100. 100. Unless you found a way to sneak on one more at the end that just quit early. Actually, what we could do is just do DK Jungle and then have us all leave the room and then. No, not. Oh, no. We, we would have to keep going. Otherwise, I'll, otherwise, it would stop keeping track of those points, so. Or at least yeah. to the crown, at least to the crown, though. To be fair, I don't predict much of a difference made. I don't know, we'll see. Mm. So, how long do we want our break to be? That's the question. Uh... Enough to go to the bathroom and maybe get a snack or two? Yeah. yeah. So, some like five, maybe seven minutes, I don't know. Seven's Something a funny like number. That should be funny. Okay. Hands up. What? Oh, that was vile. No. Bad luck. Game hates me. You know, I do find it interesting that these enemies from, I believe it was the new... Country Returns. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How those show up. It is interesting how they count or don't count Donkey Kong as part of the Mario series proper. But, that's right, I do need to talk about cannibalism. But, I think the guy's name was Armin Muse, but... He and another guy... A guy agreed to basically get eaten by him as part of a... I mean, you can presume why it was a turn-on for both of them, but he went to jail even though it was consensual because, you know, it was still murder. It was very obviously premeditated. You know, what if, what if someone ran for president on a platform of just legalizing consensual cannibalism? I don't think they'd win. I don't think they would win, but yeah, they would neither. certainly, they certainly show up in headlines a good bit. Yeah. Well, depending on what way, probably, but depending on what part they ate first, it might be a front line. Maybe. Maybe. Bad joke. Okay then. Yeah, but it's all very interesting what they chose specifically. You know, out of Donkey Kong. Yeah, they they should have put they should have put 75M from the original Donkey Kong in Mario Kart. I think that would make everyone happy. They could have done some interesting stuff with the, with the anti-grab. Yeah. It's just literally Donkey Kong, and if you, you have to use the jump mechanics to go over the barrels and stuff. Maybe. Who knows? Mario Kart 9, finally. No, that was Mario Kart Tour. Literally. Didn't have real online multiplayer. Fair. Come on, come on. Let me just... And... Too late, too late, too late. And... Oh! I nearly hit that banana. Nearly hit that banana. Come on, come on. Okay, uh... Okay, it doesn't carry the points over. Yeah. So that's... We'll have to sum it all up after. Let's keep getting I'm better doing at this. That right now Let's keep getting seven. better at this. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Tally Man, tally me banana. Okay. Oh, but oh. Right, right, well, we can, wait. We can just leave the room then, can't we? Yeah, I guess we could. We could. But it would get rid of the big mag crown. Actually, I might like that. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> so I'll re I'll remake that room. Oh, a new vehicle customization option. Because yeah, I don't really play this game. It's not the Switch version. So I'm gonna create the room real quick. I might actually switch to the. What's my new option? The what's for the apparently the teddy buggy is better. It's gonna be silly. Okay. 
Well, I'm gonna wait over here. I'll be right back. We'll take our little funny little break. It's bathroom time. Bathroom time. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Sec.
Okay. I've returned and I'm ready. Everyone ready? Uh oh. I don't like the sound of that. Everyone back? Alright. Okay. Has Mag returned? Uh oh. Wait, should I deduct the points from the extra cheese land run? If you if you if you can, you may as well. It would help. For the sake of specific right, precision. Okay. Oh, so you've been keeping track of every single run? That is No no, I just remember which I just remember the placements from that one. Oh okay. This guy. Yeah, you you have to be the intelligence build, let me play let me play Elden Ring then. Here we go. It doesn't change the placements at all. Nice. But, I'm I'm still but... in dead last. I'm still in dead last. Okay. I guess the question is, is Mag ready? Do we have Mag preparation? Oh my goodness. I bet they fell in the toilet. This is so sad. Are you okay at Magnolia? Oh my goodness. I'm going insane. So in the meantime, how have you been doing lately? I need to say something to occupy the time while we wait for, excuse me, person number three to show up. I've been doing alright. The job good. is not fun, but it is what it is. It gets me money. Do you at least get to do it from home? Yeah. Okay, that's good. As I was thinking, there are some call-related stuff, things that I might want to do, maybe non-profit related, that would be, you know, something I wouldn't need to drive around for and, you know, spend more time out of my day commuting. Because that's the big thing to me, just the potential to have to commute. You know, spend money on gas, spend time getting back and forth, and I guess it could be time to listen to music, but beyond that, it's just painful, you know? It's time, yeah. It's time spent that could be spent on something else. Either more productive or at least more enjoyable. But it is interesting because there's discourse going on right now because Kuro Game put out their Genshin Killer, Withering Ways, which I have heard nothing good about them. Yeah, it's just having a really, real, a really, really troubled launch because there have been glitches. They accidentally doxed everyone who asked for a refund because they did reply all on an email chain. And the big thing about it to me is just, it seems less interesting than Genshin to me. Because it's all basically one, I think it's some kind of post-apocalyptic setting. I'm not sure if it's Earth or not. But it doesn't have the same kind of innate promise and appeal as seven very, very different nations on one continent that Genshin did to me. And just in okay. general, you're back? You're I right? got sent out of a side quest by Grandheart, oh, but okay. I am back times. Did you have to kill a monster or something? Yeah. Interesting. Well, it's time. Let's see this thing? But, like I said, the big thing is just, the aesthetic is a lot less varied, and people are having discourse about it. Basically, Wario Stadium. Wario Stadium, and missing the point entirely, in my opinion, about... Oh, you know, Wuthering Ways, you know, its character designs are just as legible, whatever, say just as much about what the characters do as Genshin does or whatever. The, the big thing about it to me is just the designs aren't as personally appealing to me, because they all have the same sort of general aesthetic style with a few exceptions, and that might end up changing, but it's just... It, it does feel like it'll end up being the same kind of thing for, for its entire run. And to be fair, I don't know that much about Crew Game. I know very little about their previous output, which was Punishing Grey Raven, which was, you know, kind of like how they're basically doing a darker and edgier sci-fi Genshin clone right now. They're, that was their Honkai Impact clone, which, you know, Honkai itself was basically a ban on a Slash of Devil May Cry clone, so, you know, who knows and who cares, but... Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I'm glad that people like it. It's just... It isn't my cup of tea, and the aesthetic seems a lot more... I think samey might be the wrong word. 
And anytime I hear Genshin Killer, I am immediately reminded of the time I tried Tower of Fantasy. <laughs> the Curse of Tower oh of Fantasy. The Curse uh, of Tower of Fantasy. I played Tower of Fantasy for three days, right when it launched, before getting bored of it. And, yes. like, every time I look up news on it to see, you know, what's it like these days, the power creep is exponentially worse. Is it Fire Emblem Heroes here? Uh... I don't know, like, the exact details of it, but... I just remember anything seeing... From the fir anything from before, whatever the latest patch is, is effectively unusable. Oh, goodness. I know I saw a year in the Heroes lifespan, that whole Fujinbo Takami thing, with an incredibly long description, and just hearing every now and then that it's only gotten worse and worse. Just, the idea of PvP gacha is just inherently perverse. Inherently perverse. I mean, it's not like Tower of Fantasy was really all that much PvP. Well, I mean, Fire Emblem Heroes. Still, That's what I mean. Yeah. I mean, Fire Emblem Heroes. That's the most perverse thing about Fire Emblem Heroes, just that it's a gosh of a pretty significant PvP focus. And therefore, is just very perverse. And, as I was saying... And then Fallen Edelgard happened. Okay, but Fallen Edelgard is funny, so it's okay. But Mag slash Polaris is actually a big Fire Emblem person. So that might be a conversation you might want to have with him. Okay. What's a mood? Power creep? But, like I was saying, the big thing I heard about Tower of Fantasy that people initially liked but kind of weirded me out is, oh, every single character can use every single weapon. But as a result of that, the part that they didn't really mention is that they all just use completely generic animations for their attack animations as a result of that, and the differences are not as strong between characters. And some people like that, because I know Cyrus some time ago was complaining about, you know, if I wanted to be mean, I would say bitching and moaning, but about how, oh, I quit Genshin because I couldn't run Baiju as a DPS and I wanted to do that. And it's just sort of, well, it just, then it just wasn't your kind of game. That's not a flaw in the game. It's just, the characters are made for specific roles. This isn't an MMO. And, you know, it was very plain that, you know, they wanted Baiju as basically the equivalent of a Fortnite skin. But, it's just... But that's that, how Tower of Fantasy did it. Yeah, exactly. And that's a bad game. Yeah. It's just... Characters, for better or worse, for a gacha game to work, characters need to have their own distinct identity in pretty much every way possible. And kit design is, you know, in a game that's combat heavy at least, going to be priority number one in terms of that. That said, what I really hate about the bob bomb is that it just doesn't work for anything other than hitting people behind you. Snipe if you're like really good with it. Yeah, but if you aren't really good with it, you'll just blow yourself yeah. up. So it's very, very a lot of risk for comparati comparatively little reward, which is just great, just great. But one thing I'm excited for with the Elden Ring DLC is just every Souls DLC tends to introduce some kind of utterly crazy weapon. And I'm really excited to see what it's going to be for Elden Ring. Because in the end, usually... Actually, aside from Dark Souls 2, a lot of the weapons I no. used have ended up being from DLC. You know, I would say sorry for that boomerang not hitting, but I'm really not sorry at all. But, as I was saying... Okay, these courses I've got some muscle memory on. Things are getting good again. Maybe, for now. But, as I was saying, Dark Souls 3, I only really got to use it for a little at the end, but those pair of great swords that I know stressing you might have seen were very, very fun and very, very cool. Oh, goodness. And the fact that they could stagger large enemies was ridiculous, too. But, as I was saying... In Dark Souls 1... Yeah, yeah, the really big ones. And, Oh my goodness, I stopped early and I, I stopped early and I still won. But, like I was saying, like I was saying, 
In Dark Souls 1, once I was able to get that tail cut off of the Big Abyss Dragon and got the sword from its tail, I did use it at least somewhat. And then in Dark Souls 2, I did use I used the I used a crown from the DLC, even if I didn't end up using someone joined? Who is Oh uh, right, I think one of my other guys. I'm asking him to if he can maybe leave for this. Okay. I mean if you're yeah, I would be fine with him joining the server temporarily, honestly. The more voices the better. As long as he watches the stream. <laughs> but yeah, well, who is this? Konoyaro. Oh, because he... The run is uninterrupted. Okay, good. Because, yeah, he just doesn't know what's going on. He just doesn't know what's going on. I'll, I'll be fine with him joining in. Maybe even joining chat. As long as he knows what we're doing and is content with, you know, that. Okay. He might... We might have a contender for Polaris. Is he just really, really good? Kind of, yeah. Uh-oh. Not sure how I feel about that. He I'm exclusively sure. plays first-party Nintendo games. Oh! Interesting. I know a guy kind of like that, but he just plays Mario 64. He... He's shown me some... quite some ROM hacks and such in the past, and really... I thought that boomerang would have done it. That's sad. Well, whatever. <laughs> Come on, come on, and just turn that in. Boom! It's like a rhythm game. Like a rhythm game. It's okay. gonna maybe throw off the final scores too, but it is. Yeah, it is. that's live. Everything for more views. Literally everything for more views. But the thing about, like I said, illegally. What do you mean illegally? Oh, I I shouldn't have done that. That sets that sets you up for a very obvious. I would... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm an I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. But as I was saying, oh, and I didn't get the double. I'm stupid. Oh, is it an R4? Oh, so that would be Mario Kart. I mean, Mario 64 DS, which is generally not liked as much for a number of reasons. I played it and enjoyed it a good deal, but it's just not the same as the original, among other things, and as such. The big thing is that Mario himself is nerfed. He's slower than he is in the base game. Doesn't jump as high in order to give, you know, Wario and Luigi and to a lesser extent Yoshi a reason to even exist. And... Wait, how did... Oh, the game shop? Well, you know, game shops aren't affiliated with Nintendo proper. Yo, know, as long as it helps out their business, makes sense that they'd be willing to do flashcard stuff, frankly. Well, I, that was a mistake. It'd be funny if people were screen sniping me. Whatever. Oh, come on. And just out of the way of that. And please, let's just do that. Sorry, sorry. That was a little dirty of me. Oh, well. I was expecting a stronger performance from Mario Gamer. Oh, well. That's live. It didn't I throw up the squirrel that much. Oh, oh, that he sandbagged for the sake of it. Okay, cool. I'd be fine with him staying on it. Again, I'd be fine with him staying Oh, Yoshi Valley. Fine with him staying on and even joining. Oh, he quit. Okay. He's welcome. He's welcome to join. If he's fine joining voice chat. And, or. I don't think he even knows how to use Discord. Oh. So. Is he 12? No. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Thirteen? I think he's like a year older than me, actually. Oh, uh, it, was, it was a joke. Got from college or just internet? Uh, high school. Oh, oh, nice. Was he the kid who blew 20 vapes once? No. <laughs> it would be funny. He's, he's the kid who played Megalovania through his phone speakers, like, half the time during lunch. So, in other words, you're saying he was based. Oh, um, I fell? Okay, Cobble, Cobble, you tell that story. And isn't the library occupation one kind of connected? Was, wasn't Vape Kid at the library occupation? I don't know about that part. I don't even really remember much like library occupation type stuff. Okay, okay. Understandable. And, oh, I got that. That's good. 
Like, there was this guy in my botany course. He almost never actually showed up to the class. So it would be like first thing in the morning, two or three days a week. He was in my group for the project and he would just not be there. What time was the class? It was, I think it started at like, well the, the schedule changed after I graduated. I think it was like 7.50 something in the morning. Hmm. Yeah, cause I oftentimes would be late for jazz band back in high school, but to, in my defense it was literally 6 a.m. Yeah. No, it was at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. So I had to wake up around 6 to get there. And that made things difficult and complicated at times. I did enjoy jazz bands. Had a lot of fun with it, but thank you. Uh, and... well, okay, it was like 7 vapes, really, but... He did have no, multiple it, it in like, his mouth, right? It was multiple. Uh... It was, like, late into the semester, though, we had a sort of field trip lined up to go to a conservatory. And, oh, yeah, what? I, I hit my fire. I spent, like, okay. most of the travel time trying to play the big FGO event, but that, that's not even really Which relevant. one? Sarah. Oh, oh, started, right. I remember. Like, it was, that was maintenance ending day. It, so. it, it was years ago, so I feel comfortable admitting this now. Yeah, yeah. But I skipped out on going to Coldstone Creamery back... At the end of graduation from high school, in order to beat Seraph, and oh my goodness, that was really embarrassing. I used that mushroom wrong, and I could have gotten second. Anyway, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. He, he was a big vape kind of guy, and he sat next to me there, uh, on the on the bus to that field trip. Okay. At one point, he had like seven different flavors of vape in his mouth. Blue. An enormous cloud, and it just didn't move. <laughs> Stayed in the same spot, even when the window was opened. That's a Dark Souls spell. And it only, and then he was like, oh, hey, dude, want to listen to some music? I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. What am I supposed to do? I'm like almost, I'm about to like choke on the air because of this enormous cloud around. <laughs> he, he just gives me an ear, but I put it in, and the cloud just leaves. What was the music? I don't even remember. Was it techno actual, or... Actual wizardry, though. Interesting. So what you're saying is that he was testing you. He was like the spring fairy from Animal Crossing, and he gave you the golden shovel back? I have no idea. I, I think it was fate. I think it was some kind of fate. Possible. Grand order? What it was supposed to mean, I still don't know. I, I think what it meant is that... He chose you as his disciple, and you were supposed to you were supposed to smoke eight vapes at once to surpass even him. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not really a big fan of nicotine addictions though, so. I yeah, me that. neither. But you know, when when duty calls, you have to answer. All right. Yeah, I, I wonder what I wonder what that kid is doing these days. Well, presumably he's not a kid anymore. But actually, you know, maybe he's immortal. Maybe he'll just be it's 17 It's certainly forever. possible. Some sort of mystic, mystic, mystic being. But, one interesting thing, and this will only mean something to you, Kabul, that I was doing a bit of looking at various translations of various terms and soul names, and the term for the arcane stat in both Bloodborne and Elden Ring translates to Divine Mystery in Japanese, literally Shinpi, which is actually the exact term that's used, that gets translated to Mystic in most versions of, you know, most translations of Fate stuff, which I found interesting. What did FromSoft mean by this? They meant that they were also doing something in Japanese. I do pray that one day we get a... Big if true. How did I, what? We get a Nasu and Nasu from Soft Game, like they did stuff with R. R. Martin. That would be bizarre amounts of peak. You know, because Nasu, Nasu's a big From Soft guy. He did say that the one outside collaboration he would be willing to actually have in FGO would be something From Soft related. Poor Polaris. <laughs> you know. How did that even happen? Uh, I don't know, but it did. I'm not going to hold on this first place for long.
I'm definitely not holding on to this first place. <laughs> but switching out my cart is a good idea. Because I have a land shift for acceleration, but I have this for speed and it's helping. So, Piwana plants wide. Piwana plant. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Um, if only I could install that, like, woo woo extension to this game. Oh my goodness. To turn it into meow meow. To mood mood mood, mood wow wows. <laughs> goodness. Or that. Or that. Mood mood wow wows extension. Extra cozy moo moo meadows. It's so long ago. Yeah. I just... People have talked before about the idea of... Among other things, that, You know, what the theoretical quote-unquote... Nasu Souls-like would be like. Because Samurai Remnant was originally supposed to be a Souls-like straight up. And then they changed it because it was too hard for their target audience or something. I don't know. But... The big thing is that they toned down the difficulty, and they explicitly in interviews mentioned Dark Souls as a template for the original idea of the game, which would be interesting, because it basically ended up being kind of... I guess the best comparison might honestly be something like Persona Strikers, in that it's Musou as a baseline, but more of a focus on small encounters instead of being, you know, a bad game. But, as I was saying... Oh my goodness. I didn't think I was going to hit that. But, I guess the big thing is, you know, what kind of setting it would have. Because, you know, there'd have to be a reason for it to exist in the universe. And I do appreciate that aside from some of the anime stuff, they don't do a lot of pure retellings. So everything has, you know, a reason to exist. Yeah. And, you know, I, I do appreciate that, you know, for all the bits and pieces we've got of Arthuriana through Fate... There's never been something that's just, oh, this was basically the Fate King Arthur story. It's just, you see some tidbits, and you hear about some instances, see some choice scenes, but they're never gonna do just a pure normal King Arthur story, but, oh, hey, it's Saber. You know, because why would they? You don't need to. Yeah, you know, everything that we actually need to know has happened already, and frankly, at least, I think FGO has kind of changed things up a bit for the sake of mass market appeal, but... Especially the earlier stuff, you know, at its best, took an interesting sort of critical eye towards the original Myths, and just doing a pure retelling of something would definitely not be that. And it would just... It would, it would have to be original, whatever. It yeah, was. and it would, if it weren't, it would make for a much worse story. But it's... You know, what would the theoretical fate souls like even be like? I'm sorry. That was evil. <laughs> that was evil. Had to get my revenge. Oh, we're matched. Twinsies. Funny. Twinsies. Okay. So, because I know some people have mentioned the idea of maybe patterning more after Bloodborne, or essentially doing a game basically based on the activities of the Demon Hunter organization, if you're familiar with that term. They're from Tsukihime to a lesser extent, Kara no Kyokai. You know, because that would make some sense, because... Samurai Remnant... And to be fair, I think a lot of it is just people didn't expect them to make a protagonist as plainly overpowered as Miyamoto Yori from Samurai Remnant. You know, sort of, you know, what could a human reasonably fight in a game like this in a way that would make sense? Though to be fair... Though to be fair... Dark Souls 3, for better or worse, and I commented on this when I was playing it, though to be fair it was a criticism I took from other people, that the enemies of Dark Souls 3 are kind of at Bloodborne to your speed, but the protagonist is still largely at the slow speed of a Souls game, which leads to some difficulty in ways that people might not entirely like all the time, but as I was saying... Uh, and that might not have been the way I wanted to- wait, what? Huh? Okay. You know, essentially, that could be an interesting way to portray the gap between a human and a servant, or whatever kind of being they're having you fight, just having be them be a lot faster than the player character, in the way that you could argue Dark Souls 3 had. Yeah. 
enemies be a lot more active than the player character, but at the very same time, you're also... Oh, come on. Where are we going? Oh, my... Oh, I missed the item. I think it would be hard, given how much fate has cannibalized most everything else in the Nasuverse. That said, they are... They did do a Mahoyo collab in FGO wow. in Japan, and they're putting out a Mahoyo movie, just made, you know, the Tsukihime remake, that, you know, the time might be run to get more into another part of the setting, or another timeline, or whatever. But, as I was saying, back and verse, probably not for long. Just, you know, what kind of part of the universe they would have as part of a game, you know? The big thing is that I know that besides Extra Record, if it ever comes out, their in-house development really studio is, is... Yeah, literally. Their in-house studio is working on at least, I think it was, they said three game ideas. And, you know, only one of them being Extra Record. So I'm wondering what else might end up showing up. I do feel like the idea, ideally, would be some kind of Nasuber Souls-like. Yeah, I'm just biased. It's what I would like most personally. Yep, but, extra record. What, extra what, what? Record CCC. That would be fair. I know that... They mentioned the idea that they never actually... They basically said it as a joke. That they would combine them into a single game, and the entirety of CCC would just be a side quest, an extra record if you chose a certain dialogue path. Which would be really, really funny, but it would be... exceptionally inconvenient from a gameplay perspective, for one, but... Wimbo Woad. It's just, even if it was another CCC, a CCC remake, which did get a translation recently, actually, interestingly enough. I did see that. It would, you know, leave the question of what the third would be. Maybe it would be, because I know Nasu said that he wanted Tsukihime 2 to be an open-world RPG, I mean, open-world action RPG, ideally, which would be interesting. I... It is crazy to think that... The Tsukihime remake and the original Fate are actually getting official translations sometime this year. I just know that there's going to be a lot of discourse about translation choices when they put out the actual official English Fate Say Night. No, of course. Yeah. I, d I do find it interesting because, to be totally frank, a lot of the weirder translation quirks in English Fate stuff is because of official developer meddling connected to, official franchise owner meddling connected to licensing stuff and merchandise stuff. Because, if I recall correctly, that's why they did the Tamlin stuff. So we have all trio. And the funniest thing about that is, because it's, as you may know, probably because of a cigarette company. Did you hear about that? Uh, don't, I don't think I heard about that part. Well, there's a cigarette company called Altria that operates in American Britain, I believe. And the big thing about it is that it's, a lot of people think that the reason that Artoria got translated as Altria is because when they are looking for an official English translation of Artori's name, they just looked at a sort of Japanese to English business dictionary, and the translation, the romanization given for, you know, the kanji for Arutoria was Altria because of the... What in the... Go to hell! <laughs> Come on! Because of... For Artoria was Altria, and they just picked that and stuck with it. And the big reason why, I was talking about how for, you know, the Tam the Fairy Knights being referred to always as Tamlin in English is probably because there, there was some merchandise, I think it was keychains or figures or something, but they were referred to as Tamlin there. And basically people speculated, maybe using documents, I don't know, that... You know, the part of the licensing agreement with... I don't know, whatever the company was, say, or whatever. Produce the merch was, you know, any translation of this has to be X translation, no matter how stupid, because of the merchandising agreement or whatever. Or at the very least, that they didn't want to mess with their own ex extant branding. The big thing is that a lot of the quirks seem to be as a result of meddling and not due to the translation team being bad or outright 
malicious or deliber deliberately meddling. The big thing that's weird to me is... A lot of translations, especially on fan sites, talk about how... The English version of FGO talks about, quote-unquote, comp the compiled, the chronicle phenomenon and the pruning phenomenon, but... The original doesn't mean it as phenomenon as a single sort of described sort of pseudo-scientific idea, but as individual phenomena. So it'd be better described as events. So most fan translations don't say chronicle phenomenon or the pruning phenomenon. They say compiled events and pruning events. And a lot of the stiltedness of the English translation has to do with those terms that they have to use, which... I think that's actually closer to just pure mistranslation that they had to stick with rather than meddling. But it's still interesting. And to be entirely frank, the fact that that's the weirdest thing that stuck out besides arguably, you know, the missing belts from Shimosa is, it's actually a pretty good track record, even if I've seen a lot more typos cropping up as of late. Um, we're what do you think of what do you think of the grill fronts, by the way? Honestly, I I only did a little bit of the very first one. Interesting. So you've been skipping and them I didn't since. I like it all that much. They've changed up significantly. The big thing is that they've placed a lot more emphasis on the team mechanics, in the sense that you can't just you can spam Her Heracles to a good deal, but not entirely. I still do a good amount of Heracles spam when he's available, because he can, you know, revive a bunch of times on death, but it's not as oppressive as it used to be, in part because they severely limited the amount of times that a single character can attack per turn, and that made a big difference. It I hit as I was crossing the finish line. That didn't make a difference, but still. But essentially, originally, a character for most of the girlfriends could attack two times per turn, but... In the current one, a single character can only attack once per turn normally, but they've got enough for movement to switch with another character nearby, and therefore, at least ideally, another Rainbow Road. Get a second, a second attack off via the sort of pseudo pair-up mechanics. And also, the team mechanics have been increased to the sense that if you have multiple characters on your side during a battle, all of them will get a pretty decent buff just purely multiple get a buff to all their damage, a standard damage up. That, it's 20% at base, and I think it's with two characters on the side, and I think it's 50% with three. Otherwise, it's just... In general, it's actually pretty impactful. Especially since... <sighs> enemy HP has actually gotten a lot higher. They introduced these sort of side objective enemies to be in one of the earlier ones, but they made them a lot stronger in this one. So it's become increasingly important to just either use team up or have a lot of durability. The big thing is that I was not able to cheese things by just using Heracles like I was previously. On a somewhat related note, I do want to play... I do want to get through Hades. I know they put out Hades 2 really recently, and it's supposed to be really, really good. To the point that even though it's still in early access, it's apparently already beefier than the original Hades. Which is kind of crazy to think about. But still. But, if you've been keeping track of it at all, or seen anything about it, they did change out the protagonist predictably, so it's you know, not Zagreus anymore. It's this different gal who uses a lot more magic and is... I think she might be the daughter of Kronos? I'm not sure. She has some connection to Kronos, because... Kronos is the main antagonist of Hades 2, from what I recall. And that's not really a spoiler, they just tell you. At least based on what I've seen in Hades, is, I mean, Kronos is the main antagonist. But, they also added, apparently, a separate surface route. It was not originally there, and shells are not good here. Shells are really good All I've really here. heard about Hades 2, besides the quality so far, is that it's apparently extremely moddable. Oh, interesting. Like, hacking your 3DS? Uh, as in, the, all of the scripting for everything is done in Lua. Oh, I did hear about that. But, I heard that... 
that didn't mean it was as easy to mod as people thought. It just meant that it was more accessible, if that makes any sense. It, it, but it, it removes, like, all of the hoops. But it's still always partially obfuscated, right? Or is it? Maybe? I haven't heard, like, too much details on the code, it's on the scripting itself. The big thing I heard was that... Hmm. People thought it was going to be really easy to mod because it was all in Lua. And then some people walked it back and said, okay, those people were wrong or overestimating how easy it would be to mod or something like that. I just, it's been a while since I've heard about that. And I'm probably, I've probably got some of the details off it still. Yeah, so Kava, when are you going to start streaming? The very least. I still don't exactly know yet. Okay, fair enough. Either way, either way. Should do that Lego. We should do Lego Fortnite again. We should. I wonder how long that Star Wars stuff they added is gonna last. If it's it, still around. If it's even after the Star Wars stuff is gone from. The oh, okay. So it might be it was semi permanent. I don't want to say it's permanent, but if you hear about it getting taken out anytime soon, yeah. I feel like we should go in and rush it a bit. Go back to Eigen World. Hmm. All right. Put that behind me. We're actually really neck and neck right now, that's cool. Come on, come on. Ooh, oh, or not. And just... Hmm, let's see how I can... Snap someone. Oh, baby, I cannot. Hmm, ooh, ooh, annoying, annoying. And we can... Mm, mm, I should've drifted there, I should've drifted there. Whatever, whatever. Who is... Oh, nice, thank you for... Not getting close, I guess. Yeah. So is your model just gonna be a Lollifel? Uh, haven't figured out. Haven't figured that yet out either. That's probably gotta be step one. It should just be Craggleanch from Kidagorus Uprising. That would be good. It would be fun. If Nintendo would not like destroy me instantly. All I have to do. All you have to do is get the sponsorship deal. That's what you gotta do. Oh, come on. What? Then how do I go about that? I don't know. You start out as something other than Craggleanch and then become Craggleanch later. Just in time for Kid Icarus Uprising 2. Exactly. That's the joke. <laughs> Silk bundled with Silk Song Trust. And Team Fortress 3. I saw someone say, in response... Box 2 on the Switch 2, finally. Nintendo announces it's changing its name to Nintendo 2. <laughs> That's what the knee in Nintendo stands for. The Nintendo 2 Switch 2. Too fast, too furious. Too Nintendo 2 Switch. If I recall correctly, the reason that they do all those really weird names for the Fast and the Furious series is because there was some licensing agreement where the rights to just normally numbered sequels were, ta were taken by some guy. And as a result, instead of just, you know, they were sort of, okay, but we won't pay you anyway, we're just going to choose different names for everything. Which, you know, that's the kind of legal wizardry I expect out of my Hollywood. But... Like, which, you know, normally it's less pleasant than that, frankly, because in, well, you know, I still got that before, and, oh, I dodged the bomb on, which is that the guy, David Prowse, who is the suit actor for Darth Vader, basically made, made no money, because Lucasfilm was able to successfully argue through legal wizardry that Star Wars literally never turned a profit, which is as stupid as it sounds, but... They were able to do it just by counting various things like travel costs and various sorts of promotional experiences as costs of making the film, which is legally allowed, but also incredibly suspect. And he just basically made no money after being Darth Vader. Yeah, and, you know, arguably, most people probably assume that it was just James Earl Jones being 
Darth Vader, even that, even if that is not quite the case. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's scummy. It's scummy for sure. But even still, it's just... There's really no excuse for conning something like that. But, as I was saying, and let's keep snaking. Come on, come on. What am I gonna... Oh, boo. But I don't presume I'll get anything really good. Yeah, that sucked. But, I was just saying. That, there was a leak recently of Valve trying to get a hero shooter out. And people were just saying, if they really wanted a hero shooter, they should have just made Team Fortress 3 and made that a hero shooter with, you know, gender swapped versions of the original Mercs as, you know, the other characters to fill the roster initially. And just work it like that. But unfortunately, that would be a good idea. And it would also involve Valve learning to count to three. Impossible. It is still objectively hilarious that they made two more episodes of Half-Life 2 instead of making a Half-Life 3. And then Half-Life Alex. Yeah. Well, we to be fair. I forget that they did that too. Half-Life Alex is more of a Half-Life 1.5 anyway. <laughs> the point is, it's a new Half-Life entry without the number three. I would say, how often do you have not just a sequel, but a threequel that is a prequel instead of a sequel? And then I remembered Metal Gear Solid 3, so. Which is a, literally an example of a number three entry in a series that is explicitly a prequel. I do need to get through Metal Gear eventually. I feel like I want to wait for more of the collection to come out and then hopefully go on sale. Just got such a big backlog at this point. I still gotta play Sonic Frontiers. And of course the Sonic X Shadow Generations. It is still so funny. I still cannot believe they made that. <laughs> I can! I definitely can. It was an incredibly hilarious move, but I respect I respect the grind on that. I very much respect the grind. Yeah, now everyone looking for Sonata will instead buy their new game. Okay, I tried breaking the corner and it did not quite work. That's life. Yeah, maybe the game itself will be Canon Sonata. Who knows? I didn't say that. Happy Pride Month. Well, it's coming out in September, I think. So. No, they'll do the announcement during Pride Month. They'll announce that it's a Canon Sonata game during Pride Month, even though the game's still three, three months out. Which will give them enough time to retcon everything in time for the global release. After all the E3 fan outrage. E3 will return just for that. Yeah, E3 comes back literally just Canon Sonata. Are you happy? That's and all. And then that's it. E3 that's all. Gone. E3's <laughs> over. No more E3. These are so tight, dude. Come on. Come on. Give me more ways Don't to get you. Don't it being a whole lot better in 7, either. What do you mean? Oh, this, the, this course? The, like, the corners? Of these turns. Right, right. Something, something. Will my corner be sharp? Corners are round. You know, the whole will my bird be long thing, which is actually also a Sonic joke. Sonic move. Did you see that picture, that thing someone drew of the whole, you know, Amy giving Sonic a, a mini Amy and him just saying, I don't really want this. I, I have not seen that one. It's I, funny. Oh, come on. Sometimes I feel like I should go on Twitter at least once in a while. Maybe. And then I decide against it every it's time. It's the only thing keep me, keeping me up to date with current events for better or worse. Emphasis on, emphasis on for better or worse. Emphasis on worse. Yeah. Emphasis on for better and worse. Emphasis on worse. Oh, Ribbon Row. I saw, I think it was a Summoning Salt video on the Rainbow Road speedrun. It's actually a really, really weird course to speedrun. Okay, but what, but what, yeah, exactly, which unknown, which unknown. I still need to beat Pokemon Legends, actually. Because I... Which one? <laughs> Pokemon Legends Arceus. AZ isn't out yet. I'm excited for AZ. I guess the big question is... What the new Pokemon they introduce are going to be like. 
Whether we might get an A legendary. Oh, an X unknown. Okay, that I mean, makes I, sense. I don't want to say another new Zygarde form. Zygarde Alpha or something? I don't know. I mean, it, I feel like I another new. That's impossible. I think we have enough Zygarde. Forms. Yeah, that's the thing. The Especially Ultra since game. none of them really got the time in the spotlight they needed. So this would just be, you know, and it, time for Zygarde to actually mean and do something. That was embarrassing. That said, I. I do wonder what new legendary they can maybe introduce. I feel like maybe if urban development is and revitalization is kind of a theme, they could do another yeah. sort of man-made legendary Pokemon yeah, that doing, is literally creating something like that. Sure. Yeah, the ton of the themes, depending on how actually you know high art they feel like being. I really did. I really really liked Legends of Arceus. What I played of it. It, it was a lot more mature without being needlessly edgy, and I did appreciate that. Come on, I, I didn't need to throw that one. Whatever. But I... It'd be interesting... You to burn a super board. That's fair. It'd be interesting to have, you know, a new legendary explicitly sort of created and showing up during that game. You have it be that new legendary's origin story. If anything, it would kind of remind me of Fate Voyager, in the sense of, you know, an explicitly modern, prominent character. I don't know. Maybe I should stop comparing every little thing to Fate. Maybe. Come on, and... Oh my goodness. It, it would definitely be a really, really good end to this desire. Yeah! In, in what, Whether or not what kind they'll of take way? advantage of that potential. Sort of Guardian of Nature versus Guardian of Modernity. Or Guardian of Nature versus something created by modernity. There we go. Enjoy your Toho. I did actually... So... Churu... Got a new PC recently built by their sister. And last night I had, I had to help them install new Toho games because... It, it is insane how... Millennials slash Zoomers simply do not know how to torrent. And the big thing is just, and to be fair, I can't blame them as much anymore because Google is useless due to AI, AI results now. But, just, people not really knowing how to just Google Foo stuff and look it up when, you know, I don't know how to open X-File, maybe I'll look up how to do it. Though to be fair, like I said, now Google is basically useless. Have you, heard, have you read some of the stories about how that happened internally? I've said this before, but basically what happened was the ad revenue team basically beat the engineering team in submission. was able to force them to make a bunch of changes that they explicitly did not want to make. I mean, because that's the thing, is that it's a horrible long-term strategy, but they literally cannot afford to act in the long term when you have stuff like Dodge versus four is a precedent in America, which means you know, doing anything other than acting in terms of doing what the shareholders tell you what to do is explicitly illegal for a business to do. You know, even long-term strategy is hard to go through when next quarter returns are the only things your shareholders are actually looking at because, you know, they're pumping and dumping your stock. They're not interested in, you know riding it and just getting dividends, they're interested in sales. Which means that, you know, longevity is not something you can afford to care about, not something you're really even allowed to care about. It's crazy. I mean, really, shareholders and investors and all that are kind of ruining everything, but that's... Life. What can you really do about that right now? Yeah, wait for collapse and be in the right place to rebuild. Mm -hmm. Oh, I... Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. That was embarrassing. Yes. I almost got a six shortcut off, but then I just didn't. That's life. Come on, come on. Well, it... As in the whole long-term versus short-term thing, or... Or what? So that really is just the big thing to me. Yeah. Money in politics is generally bad on its face, but the reason it's bad is because 
frankly, because of what's done with it. People use that money well, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. The issue is that... Oh, come on, come They on. don't use money well. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. God. It's so over. It's so over. It's a jover. I'm fighting for that second place. I'm you fighting might for get it. I might. Probably not, but I might. Something like this, where it's Horus in first place, me in second, and you in third, I might be able to beat you. Probably not, though. I do have a lot of catching up to do. Mm -hmm. And there's still the entire third stretch. There is. And you might, you might win. Hmm. Only a little bit behind you, Cobble. Pretty far behind Polaris. It was really funny starting out in first place for the first couple of races in this stretch and then just totally squandering it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Hmm. Whoa. What SpongeBob character am I? Okay. Did you just say Squidward? I used I don't know if I'd say Squidward. I used to be Squidward. I'm not Squidward anymore. I changed. I changed. I'm no longer Squidward. Well, I used I used to play clarinet. I literally used to play clarinet, but I was much better than Squidward. You know, because part of the joke with Squidward is that he's actually bad at clarinet. I mean, I'm sure you could probably kind of tell, but... Thanks, and... What?! Missed time. I hate my That's life. So unfortunate. I That's hate so my life. And I burned the super horn too. It, oh my ooh, okay. That was almost a fall of my death, but it was not. That's good. Come on, come on. This is what This is Oh great. Okay. Wait, how did I I barely got hit by the lightning at all though. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Alright. Thanks. The lightning timer is one of the weirdest things in the world. It really is. I do not understand how that functions. Yeah. And the weirdest thing in the world is me. Okay. Come on, come on. Because I know I talked about the idea before of, you know, elemental, an elemental themed streamer group, and I'd be fire and you'd be earth. The question is what the rest would be if we could even get other people in. Probably not. Oh my goodness. Poor Polaris. Oh my goodness. I don't even know I what happened. What? You were just. Were you distracted? Well, no, well, yes. Yeah. Okay. I like dropped like 50 things and then my controllers were not cooperating, so I just uh, took the L. Did your spaghetti fall out of your pockets? No. Mm. Not a big spaghetti person. Oh, no. we get, oh, My we get to did. start here. We get to start here. Paris Promenade. Paris Promenade. Um, you're French. You're back. Oh. This is the best way to experience France. Literally. This is the one time I actually went to France. That's awkward. I was incredibly sick the entire time. Oh, uh-oh. I do not have the scores from the last one written down. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. All right. You know, we're just playing for fun anyway. Fresh yeah. start. It's a fresh start for everyone. <laughs> I'm not coping. I'm not coping. <laughs> uh -huh. I laughed so hard. I laughed so hard I started to cry. Or maybe I cried so hard I started to laugh. Unfortunately, I've already depicted you as the crying Wojak wearing the smug Wojak face. It's over for you. That's worse than just the soy boy one. Oh my goodness. It's so over for me. Okay. There, there was discourse, and apparently the first recorded instance of the term soy boy is in Kurt Cobain's personal notebook. Um, but the first instance of it being used as an insult, apparently, was as in specifically as an insult most likely, was in Katy Perry's song titled You're So Gay, which is wild. 
wild that that exists. Okay. Come on, come on. I'm not getting that snipe off. I'm definitely not getting that snipe off. Okay, whatever. Let me in. Let me in. And can we get... I wondered if I'm doing it from the side. Might have let me hit through the banana, but I guess not. The banana. Yeah, but... If you, do it from, if you do it enough from the side, it's not exactly all that clear which angle it'll work. Okay. So in other words, it's garbage BS, and I shouldn't even try. Mm -hmm. Nice! Okay, cool. Classic. But... What? Okay. As I was saying, the one time I was actually in France, I was really, really sick the entire time. So this is actually a preferable way to experience France for me. Come on, come on, let me catch up, let me catch up. Go ahead, I'll catch up, and... Oh my... What? No, 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 no. No. And please, please, and let me... Allow me to. Which way are we going? And. Well, oh, come on. And, what? It's over. <sighs> of course you threw that behind you right at the end. It's so over. Okay. Alright. Well, Cobble, you're in first now. How does it feel? <laughs> A victory on earth. <laughs> you won by. T victory by split decision? Yeah. Did I just stop taking tally at this point? Uh. uh hold on. You good? Everything's going on. Uh oh. Do you always get boot hill? What? No, I'm not playing boot hill. Oh, okay. I do find it interesting that. I've discoursed about this in the past, but I do find it interesting that, because there's a lot of discourse going around, one of the things that going on with Wuthering Raves right now is discourse going around about the respective sexualization of male and female characters, and, you know, in particular the male fan base not being comfortable with the sexualization of women male characters and things getting changed, at least in the Chinese version, which I think is, you know, it's as legitimate, frankly, as... You know, if the female fan base was uncomfortable with the sexualization of the female character and got that changed, though, to be fair, I don't think that's is likely to happen. But the big thing is that Star Rail is also, frankly, a very, very horny game, but it doesn't really have the same level of gender conflicts in the fan base that I've seen. Very aware of that. Really. What did you say? Star Rail is a very aware game. Well, I think a lot of it is just that there are a lot more characters, so there's never a perception, really, that a male character being put out or a female character putting out takes up a slot that could have gone to a character of the other gender if the devs had decided to do that instead. Because I think with games like Genshin and therefore, like, Wuwa, which is just a Genshin clone, given that characters require so much more effort to make because... You know, with an action game, you've got to take into account things like frame data, hitboxes, animation speed. It's a lot... It takes a bit more effort to make a character, so the pace of character releases is not as breakneck. And I thought that would have worked. Oh my goodness. And you even got me with the fireball. You tried so hard. <laughs> Completely blindly throwing a fire. Oh my goodness, I hate my life. So there isn't the same kind of conflict, at least not as often. Even though, frankly, it's just as charged, so to speak. I mean, in the end, I just... Regardless of what I personally like, there is, a, there is an extent to which it eventually becomes weird and, com weird and uncomfortable for me, no matter who it is. And also just, I don't want to get my streams taken down from Twitch for breaking terms of service. So. You know, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but I'm basically a Genshin and Souls-like streamer. And once I run up Souls games to play, it'll be Genshin and something else. Hey, don't worry, Lies of P is a game that was made. I do plan on playing it, and- And another Crab's Treasure. Andrew, Andrew is- I'll probably play another Crab's Treasure eventually, 
But it's... Did you hear about the whole fiasco with the speedrunning competition? I did not. Basically, Aggro Crab, their devs went in and threw a bunch of money around to force a speedrunning competition for their game to change the exploits they allowed because they didn't like... They didn't like the exploits that were being used. They thought it skipped too much of the game and were like, okay, whatever, but... You changed a competition that was already midway and retroactively invalidated a bunch of people's runs. It was, and the thing about it was, it wasn't even a marketing decision. From what I heard, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Don't push yourself too hard, please. But as I was saying, only watch if you feel like you want to and can. But as I was saying, it wasn't even the marketing team pushing it. Well, it would be very hard for you to bring them to it down. Don't worry. <laughs> Believe me, there are other people here. But as I was saying... As I was saying... It wasn't even the marketing team making an ill-informed decision. It was the dev team intruding when either the marketing team said nothing or cautioned them against it. And just being bad for publicity when... Frankly, they had people they could have been running the pussy for them instead, which... Yeah, it was stupid, and frankly, it left a bad enough taste in my mouth that I'm not sure I want to play it anymore. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. But, as I was saying... Liza P is a big one. I do want to play that for sure, because I've heard a lot of people say a lot of very good things about it. Gotten a lot of recommendations from friends. Yeah, I... You might want to rephrase that. Well, go easy on yourself, please. Uh, banana. Cool. It would be, for a number of reasons. I'm sorry, was that me? Okay. Second place! Okay. Cool. It'd be funny One if- One of these days I won't get last again. <laughs> exactly. It'd be funny if I won by technicality. Let's go to Coconut Mall. Buy some coconuts. I got this stories from last time. Oh, nice. There we go. Big. So it's whatever I get at the end of this plus 48. Interesting. Okay. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. No. Plus 48, you said? Yeah, plus 48. Thank you, scorekeeper. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. They gave you your game money? That's crazy. Congratulations on your game money. Okay. Gay stimulus checks. That just reminds me of... Uh, I think it was in Chicago, but it was one of those boomer bumper stingers. It was something like, I finally got my gov government stimulus, but my butt still hurts. It, it was it was awful. You know, the, the sheer level of dirtiness of a bunch of boomer... You got a gay check? There we go. Oh, yeah. have you not seen chat yet? Have you not seen chat? Mag, you should check chat. I'm checking chat. What's up? They're talking about getting a gay check. Gay money for Pride uh -huh. Month. Gay money for Pride Month. Literally, yeah. Okay. Come on. Oh, and I, oh, I went up with the wrong one. I'm stupid. Come on, come on. And are we going to get the... We're not going to get the snipe. Am I going to hit myself? I almost hit myself. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was a cool little trick he did just there. That's impressive. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. I'm too fast. Too fast for my own good. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, I messed that up battle too. Come on. Come on. Hate my life. Hate my Mario Kart life. F my Chungus life. <laughs> Where did that even come from again? I don't even know! But someone did- someone said that. And I- despite my best efforts, I've simply not been able to forget it. <laughs> it's so stupid! <laughs> you could go gay -rupt. That That one wasn't as good. Or you could go camera -rupt. That would be better. What are your thoughts on Mega- is, is it still like- is it like viable at all anymore? No, I don't think it's been viable for ever, really. That's 
what I thought. Mega, it really mega gay camera. I'm not too well versed in the camera of sure. scene. Make know. noodles. What kind of noodles? What flavor? I hope the noodles are good. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, beef rock. Is it always beef? Is it Maruchan? Don't tell me it's Tokyo Maruchan. Tokyo Blur, finally. Don't tell me it's Maruchan. I'll be it's disappointed in you. Japan. If you're gonna go for the cheap instant ramen, you have to go for... You have to go for the Sapporo Ichiban. That's the only base level ramen that's any good. Maruchan is trash when it's got the Maruchan gold. Top ramen is okay-ish. Sapporo Ichiban is actually good. Okay. For now, for now let's oh, just is enjoy it, Place Japan. Is it Cup Noodle? Place. Place Japan. Exactly. Yeah. What do you mean, like a... a Okay, I know I've seen... So that might be Sapporo Ichiban. I know my mom does some Sapporo Ichiban bull stuff. I didn't know bulls could even be used for that. Okay. Come on. Oh, nice! Ballin. Sorry. No comment, no comment. I I I'm just gonna let that one rest. I'm just gonna let that one rest. Oh, uh, how am I gonna... Getting close. I'm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and... <laughs> hashtag Gani. Frankly, the hashtag wasn't even necessary. Okay. Oh, that's the. I think that's the Kaminari Mon, right? Oh, Korean. So then it's not even ramen, it's Ramyun. Fake fan. Okay. I will say that. Shin Ramyun is probably the best. Oh, it's Shin Bowl? Wait, so is it your bowl or? I would say personally that Shin Ramyun is probably the best base level ramen stuff. Sorry, not really. Not really. You're not sorry. I'm definitely not sorry. And, ooh, I messed that up. Come on. Whatever. Oh, I drifted the wrong way? What on God's gay earth? Okay, come on. Uh, yeah, I'm never sorry. I mean, sometimes, but usually not. Okay. Let's do this thing. Okay. I forget what... I don't know why I just thought of this, but... Do you know the origin? Do you know where the phrase, that's how it is on this bitch of an earth is from? <laughs> well, Luigi will. But is then the original source of that quote? I... No, I forgot. It's from Waiting for Gatto by Samuel Beckett. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's from an old play with serious artistic merit. <laughs> okay. So, what you're saying is next time you'll give him something even spicier so he actually dies? Is that what I'm hearing? Got a murder charge? I think Maybe. it would be really funny. To kill someone with spicy food? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I agree. Especially, That's what a they would expect. Especially if it was me. Live on stream death. Okay. I mean, I do like spicy food. It, it would really be, it would be the ultimate level of committing to the bit. If you actually die for the bit... Oh, he was the guy who took your meds? What in the... Oh my goodness. Oh, deserved. Please do that, though. Yeah. I love how every single time that our beloved Italian says something about people in her class in chat, literally everyone, myself included, anyone who's with me is just, yeah, treat them like... Just destroy them. Destroy their souls. <laughs> Murder is just Murder. Fun. Just kill him. Just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is stressing me out? The most Italian of my viewers simply not kill the others. Oh my goodness. I, ooh, ooh. And I know that yeah, this is where we can do that. Shortcut and there we go. Catch up a little even though I messed that up. It's just so many... 
I would say that so many of the courses I've been doing have just been entirely new to me, and this one is. So is the Tokyo one. But I was doing badly even on the ones I technically knew, so that's not exactly an excuse. Come on, come on. And, ooh, oh, I, what, 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 okay. Yeah, exactly. Someone is stealing your medication. That is serious business. It's just... That's literally illegal, too. At least it would be in America, I think, so... Yeah, just, just kill him. Just kill him next time. <clears throat> and what are we... Oh, I hit the car again. Come on. Don't... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, because the first time that happened, I was doing Minecraft with Dom. And she was talking about that incident again, and I was just like, yeah, you should have beaten the guy up. And then she asked for a second opinion, and then Dom was like, yeah, she should have beaten the guy up. <laughs> Sky Garden. Let's see how all this goes. Ninja Hideaway is fun. I've actually done that one before. You might not be able to beat people up for everything, but you can certainly beat them up for stealing your medication. Presumably. I would. And can we... Oh! Oh? No, that didn't really work. I almost fell off the edge. This is not Gusty Garden. I mean, Cloudtop Cruise. Gusty Garden is the galaxy from my galaxy that the sun is from. That's right. Go. No. God bless Gusty Garden Galaxy Green. And of course the mushroom swing at the exact least opportune time. Got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, sussy balls moment. <clears throat> I just remember it. Maybe I shouldn't tell this story. Yeah, I won't tell that story. You know, maybe I will. It was... True and some others were doing Gar Gartic Phone. I think it was also... Corinne and Jack, and I, as in the other Jack, and I think I put in a request for, they, they asked me for something to draw, and I said, sussy balls, and so I think it was the other Jack who just drew a crewmate with, <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you, you know, you know what he drew that crewmate with, <laughs> and it just, it was one of the, most vile things I've ever seen, and it's stuck with me ever since. I, I, I lived traumatized after that day. In, in, in a good way, I guess. In a good way. That boomerang went far. Th that, that is the whole story. I feel like... Yeah, I mean, they, they weren't really explicit anything, they were just rounded, but... It was still a lot funnier than it needed to be. But... I just realized how to make the boomerang go far. Huh. I guess if you hold the item button after throwing it out. Oh, okay. It extends it? Huge. Okay, I should do that. That's good. Ninja! Place Japan 2. Holy crap, they made a Japan 2? Spoilers for the Long overdue, yeah. Spoilers for the next Guilty Gear game. If Japan is so good, why isn't there a Japan too? Mm -hmm. Some people would call Korea that. I think Korea themselves would heavily object. Oh yeah, absolutely. You could It'd just fall off at the first turn. Oh, I think yeah. they crashed. Maybe I don't know. Well, there's an argument to be made that Japan is just China too. That Japan is just China too. No, of course, Japan... Did, did you disconnect? No, they're back. Okay. No, of course, China themselves... I mean, Japan and China themselves would object to that. Or at least Japan would. Holy crap, the kanji for ninja. 
Mm. Come on, come on. Do the sling and ooh, ooh. Dodge it. Mm, what? What? You in the terrace tile roof? Gotta be. Yeah, I don't know as much about this stage as I might want to. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. This is easily like the most designed one they ever put out in the booster pack. Yeah, it has a lot of pass. Well, whether it's designed in a good way or a bad way is up to you. Up to user interpretation. Yeah. Nice, we got a tiny bit of that. Who can I grab an item off of? That was garbage! That will not do me any good. Oh my goodness. How did I hit that? How did I hit that? Wait, did you get disconnected too? This is weird. What? Oh, come on. I'm still going. Okay. Burn. Time for the bullet, Bill. That's how you know I'm doing really, really bad. Here. How do I bump my face on that? It's ridiculous. I am losing my life and my sanity. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, okay. You know, I I'm just gonna say, I may be bad at this game, but I can. I, I beat Dark Souls 3. Yeah. Yeah. You can say that. I can sure. say that. Actually. There was a, another guy who I bet kind of an online acquaintance who was also streaming Dark Souls 3 occasionally. And I actually went in to get summoned last night to help him out. New to beat York a boss. Minute. Let's get it. The only amount of New York I can tolerate. Yep. It's still so funny just how tiny you are right now. <laughs> For the bit. You have to go with the Lalafell model. It would be fun. It would be. Just tiny. Absolutely tiny. Okay. It's unlike Donkey Kong. Three, two, one, go. I did get to actually go to Central Park for the first time. I visited New York very briefly this past. Christmas season or so, as a sort of part of that choir reunion trip kind of thing, which was a lot of fun. It was certainly a better experience than I had the first time I went to New York, where I went to a ramen place that gave me way too little lobster and ended up being late for the bus because I got lost trying to find my way to the Bronx. Frankly, arguably the mistake was trying to get to the Bronx in the first place. Maybe. Subjectively. And. Womp womp. Womp womp. Sorry, Magster. And, ooh, would that. Would that have been a turn I could make, or. I can't even tell. This course is weirdly complicated, actually. Yeah, Does... that's what happens when you try and condense three different versions of the same course into one course. I thought you were gonna say that's what happens when you try to base a course off of New York. That's what this is just what happens when you go to New York. Literally. This isn't the first time I've gotten lost in New York. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure they made a whole movie about it that one time, too. Right. What was it called? Lost in New York? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's one of the Home Alone movies. Oh. Home Alone, Lost in New York? I think so. Fair enough! I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up. Oh, close. Did he get hit? No, I won't. Yeah, no, Home Alone lost in New York. <laughs> nice. There we go. Uh, okay, tell us your tip about eating lobster. Give us your lobster tip. Mm. Mario, Mario Circuit, Circuit 3? Three, three, yeah. Mario Circuit free. What if I want to pay for my Mario Circuit? Then you'd buy the booster pass. Fair. As we did. Is 
Is it cheaper though? I forgot you could do that. <laughs> And, oh goodness, okay, let's, oh, I didn't have enough time for that mushroom. That's a two mushroom shortcut, that sucks. Mm -hmm. What corner can I cut? Oh, I, that's not something I can do. That's what I get for not knowing this course. <laughs> get Mario circuited, I guess. I find it funny how almost all of these... Shortcuts are just individual little cutouts in the wall. You should have hit your own banana. That would have been really funny. It would have. It would have. It, this, this is it when is... the Super Nintendo existed. The third dimension hadn't been invented yet. It's true. Wasn't it Al Gore who invented it? I don't remember exactly who, but... Like, he did invent single, the internet. Every single, like, 3D Super Nintendo you see... That, that's all just reproductions after the fact. Interesting Mandela effect? Fresh and yeah, tasty. The, <laughs> well, the third I... dimension did not exist until Star Fox 64. That's right. You know, Star Fox 64 also didn't exist until Star Fox 64. That's why. You might find that hard to believe. Oh my. What? Bomb bomb. Oh no! You dirty bastard. Only one of the... Wait, so... I tried countering a shell with a bomb. You tried the perfect parry? I tried. I've done it before. I know it's, like, possible at the very oh, least. please. It's a shame that the star doesn't really increase your top speed. True, it's tips. Okay. Huh. Well... After my roundworm experience, I stopped drinking alcohol entirely, so... And the food sounds good, but the wine would not be made use of. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, there's a new... Oh, what? There's a new, um, there's a major food yet, but it's not out of it. Oh, Sicilian moonshine, basically. I didn't even know they had a moon in Sicily. I thought it was absent of the light of God. Okay. Let's see. That's not a more. Interesting. It's... That had to have been a deliberate dodge, I swear. No. Oh, luck, no skill. <laughs> okay. And, oh my goodness. And, uh, ah, come on. You should be offended by what? Me saying that Sicily does not receive the light and favor of God. Probably. The Vatican stole it all. It's true. They have a big funnel to collect it all from the rest yeah. of Italy. I saw it. I was there. They had me do the maintenance on it, actually. Um, that's that's um, the part of the Sistine Chapel they don't show you in the tours. It's why you're not allowed to take pictures there. Yeah, it doesn't even show up in the pictures. They, it's they true. took precautions. Because it's they act, like because they made it with vampires. They made it with vampires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would know. I took pictures. Nice. There was a guy. Oh, nice. Oh, come on. I could have done that. I was so close. It'd be faster. There was a guy in the Sistine Chapel when I was there with the choir who would say in... I think it was Spanish, I don't know. Oh, and I can't just... I just can't go there. Wow. He would say, No foto, no video. And for the... In that specific kind of way and accent, and for the entire rest of that tour, we were all just saying, No foto, no video, again and again and again and again. Come on. Sorry! Okay. 
So in other words, I feel like the Spanish probably have a grudge against my choir now. Justified. We also did have that horrible, horrible bus driver who went down the wrong road. And everyone else on the road had to back up and just get off the road to let the bus turn around. Because he had gone down a road that was too narrow for a bus to go down. God. When we were trying to cross the border into Switzerland from Austria. No, from Germany. Germany. Thanks. We're almost finished with stretch two. Of the green shell run. <laughs> the green shell run. The metal Mario run. We really should have stepped out a really good name uh, for it. Steel ball run type name for this before. Yeah. I just I've heard a lot of good things about Jojo Lands, but I'm waiting for it to finish before I read it, yeah. frankly. That's what I did for Jojo Land. Well, I tried keeping up with Jojo Land, but... What, I think what it does well so far... Like, it definitely leans a lot more into the... Creative use of stands. Well, it's a high story, isn't it? Kinda. Yeah, yeah but like, there's obviously going to be serious combat. Yeah. Also, Rohan's there. It's just Rohan. Wait, Rohan's there? Yeah, Rohan's there. I'm not probably not the same one. Because it's but, like, the other it's world. Rohan. He's got Heaven's Door. It's Rohan. Holy crap! Okay, I need to catch up. Actually, yeah, and he's introduced Never mind. in the first like five chapters. Yeah, and yeah. I stopped reading before chapter five, so. <laughs> not a Rocky Saber, by the way. Wait. As in, I'm not, or Rohan's not? Rohan. And you're joking about Rohan not being right, right? Because he's the other, other self-insert, right? Right. I remember, I saw some video, and I don't know if it was a parody or not, but it was one of those sort of quirky TikTok male narrator ones where they were using the live-action adaptation of Thus Spoke Kisha de Rohan to... You know, make it a story not about stands, but about just a guy not wanting to show anyone his back. Because of, you know, the cheap trick thing, which was right. really, really funny. Yeah. So, did he, did he end up falling off the bridge or not? That's the real question. Chat. But, as I was saying, it was really, really silly because it... I will confess that it took me a little bit to remember what specifically was aping, because it had been a while since I've read Part 4. But... And that's the thing, is that I didn't watch JoJo, I read all of JoJo, which honestly I kind of regret because I've heard a lot of really good things about the Bento Oreo anime. In particular, you know, the fact that they animated the entire Torture Dance and got a song for it. Torture Dance is still one of the wildest things in all of JoJo. Thanks! Someone was saving that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't buy you that N-Stars fun pack thing at that convention I went to, by the way. Because I knew you would do that just then right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no no more Amagi. No more Amagi brothers for you. Damn. Yeah. I forbid it. Sprint. We're what? going to that part of the world now. Why do we still allow Australia to exist? We could have solved this problem long ago. I'm not sure. Fair enough. I mean, maybe there's a reason for it that we aren't being told. It's Who being kept say? a secret from us. Yeah. Yeah. Two, one, go! That was more voice I cracking than I expected. I they would the option to, like, put your switch icon on the vehicles. Hmm. Like Metroid Prime 3 decals. I need to- I feel like I should do a Prime Trilogy playthrough on- I thought I could go over that. On stream eventually. 
maybe once we hear something about when Prime 4 is coming out. So, never. It'll come out with Kid Icarus 2. I, I want to point out that the last news we got was, was announcing that they it restarted. Started development. Yeah. Well, Australia is in Eurovision because it's a white European country. I think that's pretty obvious. Okay. Come on, come on. Hmm. Keep on going. I think it'd be funny for someone to make the argument of that America should be allowed in Eurovision. Though, to be fair, the entire reason Eurovision exists, frankly, is to exclude America. Come on. Oh, this actually changed up. I did not expect that. I find it funny how generic the Mario Kart Tour music is most of the time. It's just this... To be fair, what... What would you call Australian music, anyway? Just a bunch of didgeridoos? That's the only Australian instrument I know. Yeah. The background music should have just been waltzing Matilda. <laughs> okay, do you actually know what the phrase waltzing Matilda specifically means if you've even heard of that, heard of that song before? This is my first time ever hearing that. Okay, well, waltzing Matilda is, if I recall correctly, the unofficial national anthem of Australia. Unofficial national anthem, you heard that right, and basically it refers to going through the countryside with one of those stereotypical hobo bags, you know, you know, the bundle on a stick. Yeah, yeah. That's what a Matilda is, and waltzing refers to just going through the countryside. So waltzing Matilda is going through the countryside with a hobo sack. That's it. That's what it means. I can imagine worse things to do with your life, I guess. Yeah. Like living in Australia. Well, I was, I was thinking hard drugs, but yeah, that too. Hard drugs while living in Australia? Death. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently... Um... I remember... Back when I used to use Reddit, God forbid, I used to look decently often at r slash Scottish people Twitter. And occasionally they would talk about junkies just rather often in their absurd levels of superhuman strength. Oh my, ooh, that's slippery. Maybe I should have used a coat with more acceleration in my head. Oh well. Hmm. All right, all right, okay. Mm. I need to break a little bit. Come on, come on. Thank you. I have never seen a green shell drift that perfectly alongside someone before. I have never seen this course before. <laughs> come on, come on. Do this thing. But like I said, I guess the question is who I would be able to force into being the tank in a theoretical Elden Ring playthrough. Because I actually think it'd be pretty fun, and I think it might honestly end up being me playing the tank. But, which I wouldn't hate, but thank you. And just keep that behind me until... Okay. Thanks! Okay. And, oh, come on, I, all right. Let's just see if we can go along. Oh yeah, oh yeah, sorry. I'm at Tip Polaris. Oh. The wonders never and cease. No, the rat race. Emphasis on rat. Yep. Well, I, I'm the giant rat who makes all the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. <laughs> exactly. I forget that that is not even part of the course. Wait, what? That is a- that water is a hazard, not a section of the course itself. Yeah, well, I can't forget what I've never learned, so... And that's another dead last for me. <laughs> okay. Alright. The extra- <laughs> the extra quarter bar of acceleration is making all the difference. It really me. is. 
I'm getting hit more often than I thought. Oh well. There's only so much I can do to avoid getting hit. If I can consistently get back up to top speed fast, though. You get knocked something. down, but you get up again. Yeah. Yeah. Can't keep. <laughs> top thumper. Gonna keep me down. Kissing the night away? No. <laughs> I, I've never known whether... Well, because in Mario Kart, can't really do a defensive build. But as I was saying, I've never known for sure whether that lyric means just wasting the night or just literally just peeing the entire night. I think it's probably at least partially an innuendo, given how most of the song is about drinking. I mean, a double and pond. My goodness. Okay. Mushroom. Oh, my. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That was unpleasant. Come on, and. Bounce. Bounce, bounce. Ooh, ooh. Bounce, thanks. Almost. Well, uh, you do one bounce wrong, and then. You just cannot recover from that. Thanks! You're welcome. I'm going to kill you with kindness okay. and weapons. But mostly kindness. Uh, but actually mostly weapons. Okay. Uh, frankly, this, this music sounds very Irish. What do you think about that? Any, any comments from the peanut gallery? Okay. I think Nintendo has some kind of agenda. The Irish agenda? Yeah. What is the I mean, Irish yeah, agenda? I think most people have one. An Irish agenda or just an agenda in general? Agenda. Oh. The third secret joke. Uh. <laughs> what if it's Gold Knight? Who knows? Who knows? There should be there should be a parry mechanic in this game. Stole someone's <laughs> banana. There oh, is, what? It's called using the switch no. online voice chat to verbally abuse children. Interesting. Can I physically <laughs> abuse them too? I mean, if you, if you dox their IP, I think you can crack them down. Maybe I guess I wouldn't recommend doing it. Yeah. Uh, feel like playing Minecraft. Find a random 12 year old, grieve his house, kill him, take his stuff, go home and play Minecraft. <laughs> Pick unrelated. It's a picture of like a. It's a good one. On the it's side a good of one. Final race. Three, two, one. Go! I should stop that, really. Can I? Can Is I? that a squeak at the end? I, I was trying to do go in a really high falsetto, and I just couldn't make it work. Alright, so I found out the middle of these rails, like the little support beams, have no collision. Interesting. They also give you a little boost, like the other sort of anti grab boost things. It's not all that significant. They might have given, but... given them, like, something to indicate that. Like, even those boost things Come have on. collision. I suppose. Come on, and just... Nice! Nice! Sorry. No, no. I'm never sorry. Well, it's not a Souls run anymore. Now it's Sekiro. So, we'll be alright. And just... Come on, and... Thanks. <laughs> Oh, wow! I thought I'd avoided you successfully. Come on. What? And I hit my own- I hit all my own bananas. I'm- I'm- oh. uh, uh, When I think I can't get worse at this game. Maybe I should stop thinking. Maybe I should play entirely on instinct. Yeah, what instinct? Okay. Oh, come on. 
Do that. Oh, a super eight. Cool. This will just do that. Not far behind. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Don't jinx what? Thinking? Don't worry. I'm no longer capable of thought. And. Uh, frankly, this color scheme reminds me of that Kirby food game. The Kirby food racing game. I never played that. I wish I had, but it's definitely too late. Oh my goodness, I fell again. What were you saying? Yeah, Kirby yeah, Fall Guys. That's what it plays like, yeah. It's kind of like a Kirby Fall Guys. Well, at least the aesthetic bears comparison. Oh, come on. The Bullet Bill isn't even that fast. I'm coping. Okay. Alright then. I think. Let's see. Right. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Want to do another course, quick, another quick break? The name of that course. That one? Yeah. Ice cream something, I think. I don't know. Ice cream land, I think. What about? Oh, okay, getting worse. Well, we gotta start the next one so we're gonna take another quick bathroom break. Right. I'm drinking a lot of water. Oh. Mm -hmm. When you think you're out of pee, that's when more pee comes. Okay. Just yeah. like maintenance. Exactly. That's when maintenance begins. I'll be right back.
Oh, that would probably be, presumably, just my dad doing home maintenance downstairs. Most likely. I don't know. Alright, let's keep going. It also might be from my end, because there is work going on outside. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll change out my cart setup a little. Let's see. Yeah, if you do hear hammering, there's people working on the roof, so you might hear that. Nice. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, well, during that break, I put together a simple Excel sheet to just automate the totals. Nice. This guy. All I need to do is type in the totals at the end of each set. Setting. Trying to think about stats. Let me see. Rollers with. I'm gonna change things around. I need every little bit I can get. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something slightly different now. All right, time for the end of this last leg of the race. Well, I am I am badly behind. It is literally just a fight between which one of you is getting first and which one of you is getting second. <laughs> uh, so we're starting London Loop. Unfortunate. I can't believe Britain. This is literally just Bloodborne. <laughs> the, the, this is no longer accurate to the current state of Britain. Why? 
Big Ben is functioning in this. Oh. I was much better at Bloodborne. This is the big thing about games like Bloodborne is they're ultimately about learning the AI pattern of a specific enemy and dealing with its specific moveset. That is the exact opposite of a game like this. That's what my skill set is oriented towards. Also, I just don't know the courses. <laughs> that, that does not help. And it's not like I'm no, really this interested in looking at the This part right here, this turn. Because of the big dog? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know there were chain chomps in Britain. To be fair, nothing really surprises me anymore. Play Bloodborne, yeah. There were no chain chomps in Bloodborne. Oh, come on. Okay. And that did not go anywhere. I do think it is interesting, you know, the gimmick with the Mario Kart 8 tour, I mean Mario Kart tour courses, how they, how they all take place on the same sort of loop with a bit of change each time around. But it does... Even if the paths are different, they're all individually very generic, and how is that so fast? Oh my goodness. The fuse is, like, extremely short when tossed, but... Oh, okay. That makes sense. Doesn't mean I like it, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, please. Alright, then. Guess we just keep on going. Oh, the chain shop is loose. This could be considered a Mario 64 reference. The real question, though, is who let the dog out? It was me, actually. I did it. It's, it was all my fault. And, come on, come on. Pawawis? 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 It's, it's not even funny! <laughs> Maybe I should just die. Maybe they should kill me. <laughs> Thanks. How did I dodge well, all of that? <laughs> I think you should try playing Toho. Maybe. <laughs> Next time I play a game with you, you have to show up as Pawawis. <laughs> okay. I, I mandate it. <laughs> exactly the same oh. me, just with a, just with a giant like uwu type mouth. Nothing else is yeah. different. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't if even you think. If you play with me, I will commit to being Pawawis for a whole month. Oh my! Interesting. Which one? Three. As in salmon run or? You can salmon run. I would weigh you down, but sure. We should do a big, big run. I think that would be fun. Oh, that would be a fun idea. The next time there's a big run, we try that, maybe. The next big run is next weekend. Intro. Uh, I'm not sure. When's the, when's the next big run after that? <laughs> I'll go down. Oh my goodness. Never. And there are no more big runs. I'm going to miss the last big run and disappoint everyone. Actually, uh, cause that's the thing, is that... Well, is it on a Friday? Oh, uh, because... I'm trying to fin finish Sekiro, and you'll you'll hate me for this. But the new Genshin patch is this week, too. And so, I got a clock in my hours for that, too. And again... They're finally adding Chlorinda, actually. How did that- how did I not see that? But, it's interesting because, Cobble, have you been paying attention to anything released in the past year or so? Not really, no. Well, basically, they're adding Corrind. 
who is the sort of vaguely bloodborne ass hunter woman, the sword and gun. And, and well, Sigwin is second half of the patch, so I won't be streaming any Sigwin related content, really. That's only first half that gives you any special rewards for streaming it. And I have other things that I'm also trying to catch up on, so. Womp womp. Womp womp. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not Luigi time. A lot of people are saying that Sigwin might be standard banner. Because her kit right now is just really, really weird. It. That would imply they remember standard banner exists. They did for Dia. Big if true. I mean, Dia is a standard banner character. Did you not hear I, about I, that? I completely forgot she was even in the game. Why didn't you tell me? Okay. Sorry. Okay. Well, the big thing is... It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. But, like I was saying... Like I was saying... Well, that's good. I probably smell. Wait. Oh! Connection error. That's not good. Epic Canada moment. Come on, come on. Please, please. And the nay nay. That didn't work. And oh goodness. Thank you, thank you. And did I get you twice? No. Okay, good. I would have been I would have felt a little bad about that actually. But uh, as I was saying. Come on, come on. Exactly. My priorities are exactly in the wrong place. Should probably hit me with lightning or something, I don't know. But... Mm, I can't afford to get rid of anything while I have. The shell- How did that bat- What? Huh? <laughs> this game hates me! Oh, okay. Probably deserved for something. Okay. Come on, come on. Uh, it's true. It is true. Uh, give me more. Not me. Gun over here. And how is? Oh, nice. There we go. Twinsies. Okay. Come on. Come on. Sort of screws. Is that now maybe? Maybe. And then. Okay. Last leg. Last leg. And then. Mm -hmm. What am I gonna get? Stupid bats! Oh my goodness. Why does this always happen to me? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do this then. Just gotta keep going fasty. Bats. What? Oh, oh, what, what, what? Bats! They probably do. Well, actually, that is kind of funny given how. Well, my run against the Demon Prince in Dark Souls 3 line. Because that was a bat type enemy, kind of. It was originally known as the Great Bat in beta content. I don't think I said this any of you before, but. Other than our favorite Italian, but. Dark Souls 3 might have been mechanically more complete than the other Souls games. But oh, it's... Wait, was there a DC I need to account for here? No. Okay. But the lore of the lore of Dark Souls 3 is probably the most unfinished. The big thing is that the main character is in a quote unquote unkindled, which is apparently not the same as just being undead, but the difference is not exactly explained in any way, shape, or form. And the original final boss was literally demoted to a halfway through the game boss and a new final boss was created to take its place. But in terms of pure mechanics, it's easily the most polished of the three Dark Souls games. It's just kind of nonsensical sometimes. Oh, what? What? Huh? 
I did not play Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> yeah, but specifically, one of the... The first boss of the second DLC was originally just going to be a normal boss in the main game, but it wasn't finished in time, or it was otherwise just relegated to DLC because they thought it fit better in there. Which was, frankly, kind of wild. Because in Dark Souls 1, the extra boss, uh, one of the extra bosses in the DLC, who's this giant black abyssal dragon, was also originally in the base game, as in a model was. But there's no evidence of the boss originally being planned to just be in the base game in the same way as the other one. Oh, an extra mushroom. Hello. Hello there. And, ooh, alright. That was bad. I messed that up. Again. Come on, come on. And we... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. I just remember, in terms of Big Run, that I tried the first one and thought, okay, I'll grind really hard and I'll probably be able to get the really nice trophy. And then I don't even, I think I got either the worst trophy or not even a trophy at all, and I was like, okay, I don't really care about Switzerland anymore. Yeah, I also think the gold Big Run, like top 5 Big Run, so like they have to Yeah, exactly. Because it's not even just meeting a gold period, it's getting higher than other people, which changes the equation significantly. But now it's changed. Changed to what? It's changed now, so it's just a reset goal to get top. Oh, okay, well, maybe I should try Big Run again. Maybe. Yeah. I'm being, I'm being controlled, connived. And, oh my, whoa, okay. The haters are conspiring against me. I hate that plans, and I cannot discuss with you, because the haters will sabotage me. Who said that? <laughs> I gotta find the video. At okay, some point. but who was it? I don't remember the name. Okay. Come on, and just go in, power through, and this can be approach. No, I'm not fast enough. Dang it. The games I play hate me, probably. It wouldn't surprise me anymore. Very few things surprise me anymore, frankly. They just disappoint me. Maybe. Alright. Now we go to... Berlin. Germany. That's not a real place. I mean, it, it it was in, like, 2018, at least. That's when I went there, so I don't know what's happened to it in the six years since. Maybe, well, so maybe it's gone now. I nuked it. Ah, I see, I see. Mm-hmm. Like, like Japan and Guilty Gear. <laughs> that's why they made... all in the world. That's why they made Japan, too. Oh, that, that's all mm -hmm. I know. Yep, exactly. But, when I was in Germany, I think the Italian heard this story, but I... <laughs> it was on that trip I went on last year, last summer, and I... Nice, there we go. Went through... I was out late at night trying to actually get into a club, which did not happen for various reasons, but we were walking through Munich late at night, and among other things, I ran to this random guy sell it, trying to sell hash, which I did not buy, and eventually I heard, I thought I could make it hit the car, whatever. When I was going, and that was on the way there, on the way back to the hotel, I heard this random scream when I was passing around the area I randomly saw that I ran into that guy, and I just just started running back to the hotel, because I didn't know if it was him or someone else, but I was just... If I hear a blood-curdling scream late at night in Munich, I am not taking my chances. I don't need that evil on me. I got... I got bomb buried, and it's over. 
It's so drunk. What the heck? Oh, what? Ooh, okay. Interesting. We take these? Kinda? Oh, you almost. You almost. You almost ate. Oh, this is an almost. Betrayal? Thanks. Okay. I mean, how can I call it betrayal and neither of us have any loyalties? We're enemies, we hate each other. Okay. Come on. I just... I didn't know you were really good at Mario Kart until I saw that clip of you in Excited by the Luna. Frankly, I should just assume that you're good at every single game on the planet. It's pretty safe at this point. Yeah, okay. I was kind of good at Mario Kart, I just played way too What? Huh? I had okay. a mushroom. <laughs> And I had a will to live. <laughs> As tense, of course. Yeah. I could definitely not survive in Sicily. I would probably get kidnapped or killed within days. I'm just... I'm not really capable of raising my voice anymore. It's probably a good thing. Oh. Interesting. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you can escape sooner or later. Move to Rome, I guess, and do advertising. Something like that. What's this one again? Oh, this wow. One? Yeah, what's this course? Peach Gardens. Oh, right. Oh, this is pretty big. And, mm, almost got sniped. Oh, wow. That's not pleasant. Mm, nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on. Just take that and cool. Money, mole. As one does, I guess. As in, hit by a car or literally run over? Something that's interesting, and it is incredibly pedantic, is that usually, when most people are hit, say they're run over, they actually mean run under. Because usually, and it's hard to see because it usually happens very quickly, but the specific mechanics of automotive injury are usually... The car basically throws you up. Over it, you kind of roll over it and get hit. It's usually how it happens. And, wait, no, no, no. Whatever. Okay. Come on. Oh my goodness. I gotta be kidding me. Come on. Can we? Guess we'll. No, I should have saved that more relevant shortcut. Whatever. And. Oh my. Um, this also sounds vaguely Irish. And this is on vaguely. And really? Okay. Let's take those corners tight. What is this place? I, what? No, you're kidding. Well, alright. Hmm. Corner. Drift. And. Oh, please. Mongrel. Despise. Hate. Pain. Suffering. Vile evil. And you. Uh, I like that red shells fly. It is fun. And I. Mm, oh, come on. Got to be kidding me. Yeah. Come on, and just vertically cross this ahead. Come on, come on. Did I, did I even hit anything? I did not. Oh, please. Okay. <laughs> this is the impossible comeback. This guy. We're literally fighting for second. Okay, so just don't go out at night. Understandable. Merry Mountain. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Not a big Chrysler guy. And I, I grew up in a 
Chrysler recently. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Couple, couple holders in the back were basically useless. Interesting. Do Chrysler drivers just not need water to live or something? <clears throat> Maybe. Well, th this was in the back seat. Do Chrysler passengers uh, I, I not need water to live or something? I don't know. I guess, I guess they don't. The intended ones, at least. Yeah, you are made of Chrysler material. I'm not, so... Mm -hmm. Come on. And just... Oh, please. Oh, I got that, actually. Nice. Come on. I wonder, I wonder how Sam is doing these days. Does he like being on this course? Is he on this course? Pleasance? Hey. Okay. Come on, come on. Yep. Banana. Get banana aid. Oh, I did not make that jump. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, cobble. I saw a video recently which was about how the snake ditto in Brawl is the only uneven ditto in the game. I, I watched, like, the first, like, minute or so that I have not gotten around to watching the rest. It's really, really good. You both hit that. Twinsies. Twinsies. But... Do you want a quick summary of it? Sure. Basically, the big thing is that due to the way port priority works in Brawl, the... I believe P1 can get, it's either, one of them can get the other into a sort of grenade-based throw loop, and then the other simply cannot. And that's the difference that gets made. That's why it's an uneven ditto. I'm not even good! I'm actually by far the least technically proficient player here. Everyone here at least has better course knowledge than me. I... I haven't done hardly any of these courses before. I'm unlucky and I'm bad. Double whammy. I'm sorry. That's okay, I should have understood. It's because I played Pokemon Black and therefore I prefer truth over, over ideals. Says a lot about society. <laughs> it does. Oh, actually, I didn't play black too. I played white too. Ready for Rainbow Road number three. Actually number four. He's a Val oh, yeah, fan. No, this is the fourth one. Don't worry about his count. But like I was saying before about Valve, it was leaked that they were trying to make a hero shooter, which is just wild at this point. Because, you know, trying to compete with Valorant is an inherently silly idea, frankly, for a number of reasons. Wait, which, which Rainbow Road is this? Is this GameCube Rainbow Road? Oh, no. 3DS. Okay. Derogatory. Oh, my goodness. What? That's not what how I expected that to go, but okay, we'll take We take those. I, I just want to say, I did not drop a single one of my banana orbiters there. Banana orbiter? <laughs> what is this, Kid Icarus Uprising? It should be. It would be a better game. That's true. I need to actually be... I think it was uprising one of these days. I mean, it's not like there's a back. sequel anytime soon or probably ever. Yeah. Poor Sakurai. Whenever, whenever I hear about Sakurai, I just think about that video he did that a picture of the guy who just looked exactly like Donkey Kong. Well, my boyfriend looks a bit like Donkey Kong. He shows up and he just looks like Donkey Kong, and I. Oh. Oh, I can actually scroll through. Okay. All right, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like that one fake 
I messaged them that I'd like you to join my religion. What's your religion? The picture is just Donkey Kong with Jimmy Neutron's head. <laughs> You've seen that, haven't you? <laughs> I've seen the template, I don't know if I've seen that specific image. It's probably the best one. It might be. I think it is. In my, in my finite wisdom. Oh, come on. I was so close, too. Well, oh, whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Next would be... Holy crap, the Netherlands. There's still a fifth rainbow road. <laughs> I might die. It might actually kill me. Well... The thing about Demon Souls is that... I can't what? The thing about Demon Souls is that... At the end of the tutorial, there's a boss that, if you die to it, you just can't come back and fight it again. Which is probably the most unforgiving a Souls game actually is with kind of missable stuff there. Because if you beat it, you also get access to a special, otherwise inaccessible segment of a later area where you get a you few get free items too. What do you mean, can't die? What do you... What's cool? What did I do? <laughs> I don't even know what I just did. What, what was my what was my supposed crime? I mean, she, she did say she should have stuck to bully. Oh oh well, okay okay. I'm just getting confused at this point. Come on. And let's see, that will not get through so. Oh, okay. So, in other words, someone has to do it. Makes sense. Yes, alright. Oh! Oh, and one of my bananas got that banana. Exciting. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. Neither of us can die until I finish playing Elden Ring. After that, all bets are off. I'll probably... I'll the probably immortality go... is resolved. I'll probably just go skydiving or something, I don't know. And ooh, ooh. Right. Oh, wow, that hit me through the banana? That's crazy. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. Oh, we're in the poppy fields. That's cool. Remember the time this caused a global economy crash? Yeah. I was there. That was a crazy time. It was. This will be horrible for the economy. This will affect the trout population, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Layer that over, like, any disastrous news. Just... There was some Flash game I saw. I don't even remember what it was. It was years ago. It was kind of like a ripoff of the movie Armageddon, where you had to go and blow up an asteroid to prevent from hitting Earth. And if you did the explosives wrong, it would blow up like two thirds of the asteroid, turn into this big crescent shaped blade, and it would just go in and shave the Earth in, Earth in half, basically. So that this will affect the trout population, I think. Oh. We really do need to do more LEGO Fortnite. The big thing is, is that I just don't have any skins at all. So I keep looking like... I look like that one guy that I just got from the LEGO Fortnite stuff. Which is fine, but it's not exactly fancy looking. It's just... I want one that looks as much as my other character as possible. 
I don't even know what that be that would be, and I would definitely have to pay for it. I'm not buying a V-Box just to play Lego Fortnite on stream. That said, if they had made a Lego Peter Griffin, I would have been I would have been willing to do that, but they didn't, so. They didn't. They didn't. There's no Lego Peter Griffin. Hi. Hawawas. Okay. Yes. There we go. Thought you ate, huh? Okay. Nope. Okay. You didn't? You didn't think you ate? I Understandable. Didn't. Frankly, I appreciate the humility. Whiffed. I like how legible this course is. It's not a lot that I have to kind of see coming. And yep, that's my dad doing maintenance. So. Fixing the dining room. Okay, and it's nice. Cool. And alright, there we go. Do that again. Right, let's see. Oh no, look at this. Let's keep on going. I didn't know those guys would just walk off. Kind of crazy. There we go, finally! A tiara and what? <laughs> Lego Fortnite? Every single victory I get is incredibly hard fought. Thank you! I don't think it would be possible in Lego Fortnite. I'm not sure. Let's get it. Let's get it. Thanks. Wait, is... wait... Am I? Let me see... No, I can still actually turn my mic off. I thought for a second I wouldn't be able to. Are you just able to tell when I sneeze, Miss, and when I mute my mic? That's pretty fair. Come on... oh, it's... Me when I ski. And, well, this is different. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Interesting. Thanks. Thanks. I didn't plan on it. But I feel like I might have to do a mic test then. Make sure that muting actually works. Cause it, it seems that muting actually works based on what Streamlabs shows, though, to be fair. Streamlabs is usually useless garbage to be fair, so... Oh, come on. This is a funky course. Oh, you have to... Oh, that's difficult to read. Alright. Come on, come on. Right. Okay, there it is. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Sorry, melee attack. Okay. Come on, come on. I, I'm not, I'm not familiar with my mic enough. I'm, not, I'm gonna start calling it my Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Would have been painful too. Come on, come on. Oh, I wasn't able to go enough to get. Again, again, I can't just, I just can't go there again. It's so dumb. Okay. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. He's gotta be kidding me. Let's hope we catch up a little. It's just there are tricky portions in each of these courses that I keep messing up on. Okay, bullet bill. It's really good for being in the air, too. Alright, cool. And, oh, I did not mean to go there. Whatever. Okay, and just, alright. Gosh. Then we want to go over there as much as possible. And take that out. And, oh my, okay. What? What? Oh, I almost, almost died. Sorry, Polaris. That was kind of sad, frankly. And then we. And can we. Ooh, oh, almost. I tried, I tried. Oh, whatever. <laughs> A very good attempt. If that had worked, if that had worked, that would have been sweet. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. That would have been huge. 
we would have been so back. We would have been so back. Mm. Yoshi's Island. Yoshi was banished for crimes. Probably tax evasion. Possible. I mean, maybe there's more to it than that, but... Mm -hmm. Political prisoner. Guys, touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Poochie! Holy crap, it's Poochie. Holy pooch, it's crappy. Oh, and we got, we got, we got these stews. I think they're stews. Maybe. No, they're birds. The stews are from Mario Sunshine. Oh my goodness. What? You mean in Partners? It's called Partners in Time. Do they call it Brothers in Time in it Italian? It would not surprise me. I'm sorry. You didn't ask to be born Italian. Come on, the big funny island over there. Come on, come on. And then we'll just keep going forward. Did I hear someone just. Did I hear someone just groan? I may have. Yeah, this is on technical. At least you don't live in Canada. You have to bite back. Maybe. Well, I also don't eat American chocolate, so... Moot point. Come on. Getting my thing... Just getting my personal facts... Oh, what is... What would happen if I actually hit that question with Claude? That's the real question. Come on. Come on in. Ooh, you stay out of the way of that, though I don't imagine that was entirely intentional. Can we can... Come on, squid and can we... Will that hit anyone? I don't think it will. Uh, two of them hit each other. Uh, I, I saw two of them... I thought three of them might have hit each other. No, the third one somehow got out of that mess. But didn't hit anything. <laughs> didn't hit anything, but it got out of that mess. Understandable. Okay. Yes. Mm. Nice. Yes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can cut. And it's all right. And oh my goodness, I, I messed that up badly. That that corner cut sucks. And really, really, I'm still second up good. <laughs> I swear it to God, if I, it was almost so over. Uh, oh, now we go to Thailand. What's getting tied? The race. No. Definitionally not. Definitionally not. <laughs> the land, possibly. That remains to be seen. Understandable. Hmm. Three, two, one, go. Frankly, I'm reminded of... When I was in... Oh, boats. When I was in Florence, I was out with the other senior... Graduating senior guys. And we shared some Florentine steak. And the bill was pretty big, and it all got split. And I frankly wish I had been able to argue against that. Because most of the most of the cost was from the wine that I simply did not drink. I mean, they were like, Oh, you gotta have some of the wine. And I think some of that might have been to head off the potential of me getting my way out of splitting the entire bill. I, I should have. Especially because 
Having that drink literally made me fall down. Oh, but- Oh, that explosion has persistence. Interesting. Did not expect that. Why does it feel like this course has the exact same layout as at least one of the others we've done already? It might. Probably another one of the tour courses. Come on, and... Mm, hit that. Spin around. Oh my goodness, Bars is so far ahead. But, uh, and... Okay, more. That's fair. I thought you would have said it was the opposite, that you ate a lot less than other people, and... Didn't want to pay as much. Keep forgetting that not all short people have small appetites like my mother. My mother, I don't think my mother has ever finished a meal in her life. God bless her. And, oh my goodness, that was quite weird. I did not expect it to go on as long as it did. Uh, just come on, and what if I... What? Huh? Okay. Weird. Stairs. Stairs. And give me, give me, give me. Oh, come on. What? That is one heck of a turn. Oh, wow. When I was visiting one of my friends from the university a couple weeks ago, we had a big breakfast and I was basically full for the day. Mario Circuit. Another Mario Circuit. And then they went out and got lunch, too, and I didn't have anything. But a couple of the other guys there did. And one of them was a guy who wasn't there for breakfast, but the other the other guy just, I guess he just kept on eating. He is a bigger, taller guy, but he can still. And I was just kind of saying, you know, eat whatever you like. Do not even think about trying to split the bill. Oh, okay. Interesting. Metabolism, I guess? Yeah, I dropped one piece of popcorn. I am worried. Okay, cool. Nice. Understandable. Is it just Sicilian or you specifically? Hello, hello. Oh, that was too far. What? No, no, no. Come on. That went really far too. Yeah. It's not fun. Uh, that, what? No. <laughs> How on? Okay. I need to pay more attention to the map, frankly. That's life. I'm too used to playing games that literally don't have maps. <laughs> it is interesting that Elden Ring changed though. Well, getting to eat more food, the dark side of getting to eat more food is having to eat more food. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Okay. Come on. And please, please. And, alright. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I did not intend to hit Blank. I intended to hit Polaris. Come on. Well, the big thing about possibly streaming Splatoon, frankly, is that I wouldn't be able to run it with really gyro on the handheld itself. And that could be kind of tough and annoying. I mean, I would be fine to do it off-stream, but Splatoon does not stream all that well. I mean, I've done it, but basically it's only the single-player mode, and that was kind of a joke. Come on. Oh, please. What happened? Use my. It's down there. Okay. Down the popcorn. Yeah. Also, I just really suck at Splatoon. I'm really bad at shooters in general. The only games I'm even remotely good at would be Souls games. Because they're single player action RPGs, which are basically my genre of game. I just can't aim. I'm not Polaris. 
Polaris can aim. Two, three, four. Okay. It's kind of dirty in here. I will say. Imagine the smell. Yeah, well, Waluigi has his nice, clean pinball setup, and then he has this. Yeah. You can tell where all his resources went. Into making this one as dirty as possible? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Stinkiest versus best smelling Mario characters. Go. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> well, what, what are we counting as characters here? Because, like, you've got cases like the Piranha Plant that are... Yeah, would you call them characters? Besides Peaky, since Smash Bros. And all? I don't know. I feel like out of the Mario characters who are in Smash... Out of Mario characters who are in Smash, I mean, Wario is absolutely stinky. Like, top one stinky. Well, the thing about Wario is that... It's not real... Is it a hygiene thing, or is it him about just eating a bunch of garlic? Because gar garlic is subjective. Those are kind of tied. I don't know, because I, I like the smell of garlic. But if you like the smell of garlic, that can make the difference between Wario smelling bad and well, okay, smelling kind of good. Then there's, like, the results of him eating the garlic. Well, the quote fat bastard from Austin Powers, everyone likes the smell of their own brand. To be fair, I'm not Wario. That's also true. But yeah, I, I would say Wario easily top one stinky. Stinky boy. <laughs> uh. Um. Mm -hmm. Keep on going. That. Let's catch up. Oh my goodness. Uh, please, 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 yes, gotta be, uh, oh, come on, I nice, nice, <laughs> as for best so smelling, it's so Jover. It's so Jover. It's so Jover. <laughs> that was a little dirty. I don't regret it. Okay. Not in the slightest. Well, I think I'm gonna clap back on the last four races. Well, we're already gonna beat me. Not, not so sure. Oh, For me, a victory is coming in second instead of dead last. <laughs> this course should have a special chewing gum item, and if you use it, you get caned 100 times. Yeah, bring back the double dash unique items type mechanic. Wait, I didn't even know about that. They have unique items in certain courses in double dash? Uh, not for courses, but certain... Characters, characters. right. Okay. I yeah. mean, they, they could... There's a lot of potential with that kind of thing. There is. Like a Singapore stage with chewing gum. Yeah. Yeah. And... and uh, that was close. Oh, what? Alright, I'll take that. Pure skill. Um, what? Thanks for the super bowl. You're welcome. So nice. Thanks. Uh, part of... Part of this song sounds very similar to That's All by Phil Collins' Genesis. 
I don't know why I thought of that. Frankly, I think like in Classic Rock should be a crime punishable by death. But not until- Maybe it is in Singapore. Honestly, it wouldn't even surprise me. But I- Oh, me. Get more and funny little. Oh, what? Interesting. Weird. Huh. Air speed versus. Ground speed is. Come on. Just. What am I? Weird place. Yes. Hmm. Give me. Give me more. Give me. Give me more hands. No, right. I fumbled it. It might be Jover for you. <laughs> oh, Jover! <laughs> oh, well. You know, as long as we can just drive Polaris to the back of the pack. <laughs> we can we can make it a 2v1. We can make it a 2v1. <laughs> You've kind of been doing that a little bit this whole time. Good. It's always been a 2v1. It's always been a 2v1. I just wasn't aware of it. Greece? You were dead ass like, oh, Polaris likes the grass. Well, it wasn't a might, it was a will. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no one said that was the point. Exactly. This is merely recognition for all the ones who have the Mm-hmm. It's punishment. Punishment for being a big bully in And just in general. I'm not a bully. Okay, Sounds like something a bully sick. would say. What happens? I ran into a wall and it counted as out of bounds. That's well. That's what you get for being in Greece. Yeah. Uh-uh. What is this? This sounds more Irish than anything. Whatever. Oh, I threw that shot the wrong time. Precisely the wrong time. Okay, and... Wait, no, no, no. What about Athens is crazy? I've never been. Oh, come on. Then you're probably the economy. You're right! This is... Poor Giannis Varoufakis. Oh my goodness. I should have actually stayed back a bit. Oh well. Oh, the safety. I did not know. That's confusing. That's hard to tell. Okay. Oh. From criminals or just in general? Mm. Come on, come on. Let's start this up. Let's... Okay. Understandable. And I can't believe I didn't get that. Oh, whatever. Come on, come on. Can I get a shortcut on? Let's see. And if I get two items, but go to next. Go next. Uh, mm. So that could have been a shortcut, but whatever. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, we should probably oh, go no. through there. Nice. Oh, but I'm still too. Not fast enough, whatever. Sad. Oh, interesting. You know that? That's kind of sad. That. You win the austerity politics, me win the Euro zone crisis. I mean, in the end, but for better or worse, the EU is just the continuation of German dominance through other means. Every now and then... Oh, wow. Now that... That's right. Was he me? Clearly not. Oh. 
Okay. They forgot that I'm him. They must have amnesia. They forgot that I'm him. Should I... Dracula Flow karaoke stream? <laughs> that, that would be a good, like, April Fool's thing, I think. Only if, only if I announce it ahead of time. Just... I wouldn't want to actually fool anyone in April Fool's, you know? Yeah. I think it would leave a bad taste in people's mouth. There are a lot of instances of people doing pranks like that that go really, really badly. I would prefer not to do that. Oh, come on. And just... Oh, no. Up from the... Oh. As in, got lifted? Oh, he lifted you. Okay. Interest. Oh, I'm not more. Oh, no, no, no. This is fine. Hmm. But. Uh, Daisy. I gotta walk in. I just gotta walk in. Come on. What is next? Please. I don't even know if this is faster than the others. Whatever. Thanks, and Oh, please. Mm -hmm. Nice, and Thanks. So clean. I'm still not. Ah, please. What can I do? What can I do? Okay. Moonview Highway? I didn't even know this existed. Why you turn into a werewolf in Mario Kart? You can't even do that in Bloodborne Kart. Did you hear that Bloodborne Kart had to change its name due to copyright stuff? I did. What is it called now? Nightmare Kart. Good. Not bad. I'm not. I'm not very werewolf-like, so it makes sense that my impression would be bad. What do you, what do you say? I'm more vampire or werewolf. I'm probably more vampire. Fair. Too fruity. Mm -hmm. no. Chihuahua. Well, that's not the same thing. There aren't rare chihuahuas. And I stopped. I said that once. I said that one time. Okay. Oh, please. Stay out of the way. That's super. Cool. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, one time, and then every other time is a joke about the first time I said it. Yeah. To be fair, most of that is just not getting a lot of sunlight. Sorry. Okay. What if, just purely theoretically, you know, next time you went outside on a completely sunny day, you were struck by lightning, how would you feel? Okay. I'm going and well, I'm glad you like it then. That makes two of us. Uh, uh, losing myself. And no, that is not going to connect. I like how the bars go up for shells too. It's fun. I'm on. Give me seconds. I know you meant to say attract, but attack is actually better. Come on.
Of course. Was it not was it not obvious enough that when I pretended to take your typos as whatever they were mis incorrectly typed as, I was just making fun of you? But hopefully my negative performance today will be contrasted by getting an early chlorine on Wednesday or something. It's in my name. Twentieth race. Thirteen more. I'm literally just a collector. She's barely a character, frankly. She has no sauce. Her kit design is interesting, but frankly it's kind of me too. She's not even as good as all Nathan. Yeah, but she she has no personality. She's, she's incredibly bland. She had one piece of dialogue in her first appearance. Toilet? Yo, Mario Kart 8 poop. Did I get you? I'm sorry. I should've gotten polaris. Yeah, I, I kinda just got obliterated there. It's okay. I'll figure something out. Maybe. Well, she might have guns, but for a character who looks kind of like a Bloodborne character, the fact that she doesn't have a parry is borderline criminal. It made me sad. Keep on going. It always is. Now, it, it's kind of essential for life, too. As much as I might hate admitting it. If I didn't have to, I would have a lot more free time. I might prefer that. Okay. Okay, question. Never have to go to the bathroom again, except you can never eat again. Even if you want to, you can no longer eat food. Would you accept that? Would you accept that deal? No. No. Fair. I feel- I feel like it would take some consideration. I don't know, it would give me more... more productive time. I don't know. Every single hour. Sure, I wouldn't be able to eat anymore, but that would give me more time to work on clips. Oh, what? what, what? Okay. Come on. Okay. Please, rather die than never eat again? Wow. That's drastic. Okay, and it's just... Let me, please... What? 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 Huh? Oh my goodness. What happened to you? I, I just need, be I need better handling and acceleration. That was... The cart I'm running is fundamentally just so different than the rest of yours. And the big difference is probably just the lack of handling. Well, yeah, skill in choosing the right cart. Because I chose the wrong oh, we're car. Going to hell. I'm excited. Can't be much worse. I feel like one day in the far, far future, when people don't have a lot of convenient excuses and not show up, this should be done again, and I'll have a better card for it. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. Probably not. By then, maybe the servers will have shut down. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't predict Switch stuff is gonna stop until a while in the future. Somebody hit the crab. What? Someone hit me. Okay. Wow. Well, like, I guess someone would absolutely 100% make a fan server. server. Yeah, definitely. It's a big enough game. There are fan servers for Demon Souls. There are gonna be fan servers for this. What? Nice. Thanks. But 
I am very excited to start my Demon Souls run shortly. Los Angeles Dodgers. Maybe they should try Dark Souls. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, I can't. Oh my lord. I'm gonna go insane. It's just. I need to remember that the tour courses just generally don't have the. Oh, come on. The tour courses generally don't have. sort of curb cuts like the earlier courses do. And frankly, that's part of why they don't feel as good. The path you can take is so constrained. Me one oh, giant server. I mean, giant sewer. Same difference. Not just... With Nintendo? Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Oh, come on. And then we get... Super horn. Super horn. Can I get someone? And what? Oh, come on! I, all right. And I, oh, you're kidding? <laughs> it's so Jover. <laughs> I hate my. Screw my chungus life. <laughs> oh. I think maybe we need to bully Polaris into doing Lego Fortnite with us or something. Maybe. If you're so good at everything shooter, maybe you'll play away with Fortnite. You can you can join Eigen World. I don't know. Twenty second race. Well, Eigenworld is what I've taken to call the map from the one time that I played LEGO Fortnite because it was my personal world that I made and therefore it's Eigenworld. Simple map. Oh my goodness. Oil? Guys, someone, put, someone tell the US military. Come on. Yeah. I know, I'm so creative, right? Come on. Wow, that worked? That's crazy. Okay. Thanks. Sorry! I lost the banana, too. Oh my goodness. It might be over. I just... I need to hit Polaris! I only want to hit Polaris. It's like, it's like how in Smash, I just... Wait for everyone else to kill each other, but instead it's Polaris just letting us hit each other while trying to get you. That's like. Okay. How did I. <laughs> what? How did I dodge the first two? <laughs> pure skill. Just pure skill. Let's see how badly I mess this one up. It's gonna happen. Then, oh, coin, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no, 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 no. The red shell is coming. Oh, oh my goodness. Not a word. Well, whatever. Meet another, okay. The nene. The nunu. The nono. The nana. The nini. The nene. I should stop talking. Okay, and, wait, what? Huh? Come on. I, what? I hit my own. What? It's so over! <laughs> It's so over! So, so that just happened? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, it's 23rd grade. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Ten to less. Uh, come on. Cringe acceleration. Keep a cape. And we can... Oh, banana. He's right behind me, isn't he? Yes. In fact... Come on. And, oh, I did not get... What? Okay. Come on. I missed both I No. Okay. <laughs> I am... It's already so over. I keep... I haven't gotten it... I got one item all race. I keep narrowly it missing that. It could be more over. It c exactly. I could just give up. Completely and utterly. Just accept inevitable death. Come on. Yeah, but... uh, the big thing about Clarin, beyond you know, various character objections or statements of taste, is that she... How do I miss both of those items? What? Okay. Come on. There we go is that, in a certain sense, she's arguably just worse all hypen Which, all hypen is good, but it's just sort of... Are you talking about the items or about clearing it all hypen? Come on. Let's keep on going. One, two, three, and it's super eight. Right, right. Wait, how to... Okay. Come on. I bought most of my own items when I'm Bob on my... I should die, actually. I should actually die. It's so over. Nice. Come on. Come on. Oh, cool. Nice. What is... Oh, that's just the other star. Okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, what, 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 and take both of those and give me more stuff. And it's just, thanks, thanks. Okay, I'm sorry, that was unfair. It's over. It's over. <laughs> getting multiple no, super not. eights, getting multiple super eights. The funniest thing is how I destroyed my own initial super eight. That was just embarrassing. Holy crap, Canada! Oh, no. we're, ta we're taking the we're taking Canada. the to home turf. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, well, I actually like once on the radio they literally mentioned Vancouver the last one. Like, ain't no fucking way the radio's talking about fucking Mario Kart. We're gonna stand outside your house with baseball bats, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I live, so that's even funnier. Yeah, you know, I did send you soap. You did. I should come up with other funny, funny gag gifts, or more accurately, mad gifts. Come on, come on. It'd be really cool if Canada was real instead of, no comment. Canada was real instead of just a place they made up from Mario Kart. Canada's not real. What? Thanks. Okay. I can't believe they made that country from South Park a real place. I can't believe they made South Park a real show. I thought it was just I thought it was just for Yowie. They made an episode referencing that I heard. Which is insane. Is that like an actual thing in the South Park fandom? Yeah, most huh. the entire sort of under 30 South Park fan base is literally just people who ship the boys with each other. I'm not even kidding. Fujoshis. Yes! South Park Fujoshi. There have been episodes referencing it. And it's really funny because they have to ignore pretty much everything about the characters. Like, everything about Cartman. 
Frankly, the funniest thing about South Park is the fact that Power from Chainsaw Man was based on a favorite cartoon. Every time I run... From what I, from what I understand, though, ignoring things about the show they watch is, like, a key part of anyone who watches South Park. I thought you were going to say a key part of the themes of Chainsaw Man. It's more of a fire punch thing, if anything. Yeah. Yeah. And of course my red shit will hit the back. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Um, oh, please. Um, this is the third time that the bats have screwed me over. What am I, the Joker? Maybe. What? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that. You know, immediately after I said that, I get blown up. I don't think that's a coincidence. <laughs> you just drove right into my ring of green shell. I didn't. I didn't notice. I didn't see it coming. Cool. <laughs> Moving hike and walks into a bar. Ouch, he says. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Mushin Eigen walks into a bar. Natural 20 on the bar's attack roll. Fails all death saves. <laughs> hey, it's Rome. I've been here. I've been It's a nice place. I like all the water fountains. I don't like how it put me in a false sense of security and made me drink water and sienna and get worms. Yeah, so was it was it Rome's fault? Was it Sienna's fault? Was it my fault? Maybe all three. Maybe maybe I was just being punished by God. Maybe all three. All four. Maybe. Who knows? Well it The worms defined a significant portion of my life. Okay, the Coliseum did not look like this. There were no giant glowing lamps. This may surprise you. Yeah. Oh, did you just go the wrong way? I oh, did. That would have been a shortcut. Been a shortcut. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, I couldn't. How was I supposed to jump that? Well, whatever. Hmm. Let's see if we can keep this up. Punished for my. Transgressions. Come on. Which way is? Oh, thanks for the super horn. It's great. I do. I do actually find it very interesting how the super horn eats deployed power-ups. I kind of want to keep things. Probably keep things out. Actually, unless you see or predict something coming. Oh, oh, oh. And just. Thank you, thank you, and ooh, goodness, alright. Thanks, and... No, not... Can we... Okay. Nice, and... Okay, ooh, alright. Thanks, and... Alright. Take that, and... Mmm, it's still in second. Not gonna be out of one ago. Come on, and... Take that. Oh, but it just got your banana. It's okay. It's okay, okay. Banana. Come on. Ooh, what, what, what? Okay. Didn't think it'd turn like that. Okay, so just me. Oh my goodness, we are in a bad position. It really is over for me. And. New one fuzzy. Well, he was a bear. He had no hair. Sorry. That's crazy. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was. More holes in the road? There should also be a bunch of. You know, for all the courses where cars on the road could have and should have been a hazard, why was it not Rome? Quite frankly. Okay. Guess it wouldn't make sense to put them in the Coliseum. TK Mountain. Okay. It's on like Donkey Kong. We're so close. <laughs> It's almost over. Soon enough we'll be free. Mm -hmm. Soon enough. 
Like the final sequence of Undertale. Why are you crying? You're going to be free. They should have put an Undertale course in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Honestly, they, they really could have done a lot. Yeah. It's... Like with their... It's a weird... Oh, nice. It's really cool. weird that they have... This feels like a roller coaster, honestly. What, two? They only did, like, two of their other... IPs. Franchises? And what was it besides... Oh, they did Zelda and they did... Yoshi's Island. Well, that's the same thing. I was I mean, going to be, I, count Donkey Kong. I was going Yoshi's to count Island because Yoshi's Island is Mario okay, adjacent. Okay. Stuff like Woohoo Woo. Though to be heard, it's I not in this one. Forgot about Woo -Woo. But it's not in this one, right? I'm pretty sure. Right. I miss. That was sad. It's, over. it's so over. Oh my goodness! Mario Karted. This is the Daisy Bridge. But, as I was saying, I miss Wii Sports Resort airplane battles. Those were peak. What? Huh? What? Okay. I got hit right before going off the ramp, I think. <laughs> but by what? Something? I think a boomerang. Holy crap, how'd I get a... Okay. Fine by me. Enjoy, I guess. The blue shell of justice. Come on. Let's keep on. Ooh, my... Ooh. All right. Come on, come on. Good enough, good enough. The silly bridge. Let me just... Dash, I and mean, then drift, then I guess I'll just use that. Come on. But no, it really does feel like a roller coaster in a certain sense, because you just. They send you all the way over here and then you just sort of slide down. Send you off and the rest is just a trip down the rest of the way. This will be Nintendo World in 2037. Nice. When I'm already dead in the psychic wars. Oh my goodness. Against who? Dark Eigen. That would, yeah. I can see how that might be a difficult battle. <laughs> it's true. Me, when I play Persona, I will never play Persona. It is not Scout Pilgrim. It's not like Scout Pilgrim. He would just be worse. He would just be even worse. Okay. But... Hmm. One of the wildest experiences I've ever had was a couple years ago when I went to a restaurant for my birthday. At the college was a couple of guys. One of them was the guy who was briefly on when I was playing Bloodborne. And I was making a joke inserting Persona fans, and the waitress just heard Persona. And I was like, oh, you like Persona? I'm a huge fan. And I was just like, sorry, that wasn't what the conversation was about. Don't worry. <laughs> it was... Oh, I, I, I kind of felt bad. Kind of. I just... Yeah. I was. I still am. That is not a point in contention. Look at this, and just, ooh, big. That's fun. Well, not in a food service kind of way. What was I gonna tell her that, oh yeah, we were joking that all Persona fans shouldn't be trusted around children? The, the real mean thing to do would be to just tell her that and say, oh yeah, we hate Persona. And you're a Persona fan? Well, I guess we hate you. Did you want me to say that? I mean, how far does honesty is, honesty is the best policy go? Okay. Come on. And, 
I do find it funny how long it took Persona 5 to get on Switch and PC though. Frankly, I just find it funny that it went on PC that it went on Switch before it went on PC. Though to be fair, to be fair, Atlas is congenitally allergic to money. It's just I do always find it interesting when developers sort of focus on targeting specific consoles even without an actual exclusivity deal. It's very much a sort of Development architecture is similar enough these days. It's not even really about manpower, it is about just bias, I suppose. Well, maybe that's a reason. Maybe that's a reason why. Okay. Let's see how that hit someone. Can it hit Polaris? It did not hit Polaris. Okay. Wow! Wow! Okay. Okay. Okay, then. Hmm. You know, we take those. It won't happen again. You know, of course Luigi wins on the daisy circuit. Okay, Piranha Pimp Clove. Yo, it's the eel from Mario 64. It's okay. Well, Luigi has his boyfriend. Though to be fair, there is an argument to be made actually that Wario's Peach is Captain Syrup from the Wario Land games. There's a non-zero amount of people who ship Wario and Luigi. I remember Design Weeks came out of a quote-unquote Wado Peachy, who was an original concept for sort of a Peach equivalent for those characters, who was actually going to be sort of more like their daughter, arguably, in the sense that she wasn't going to be, you know, as old as Peach or Daisy. So basically, they would be two gay dads with their one daughter, I guess. I really don't know. It was a scrapped design concept anyway, but... I guess, you know, the Wario, the, the Wario and Waluigi Yaoi fans still ate pretty well that day. I don't know if there are a lot of them there. I don't think, I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, they're not, they're not old, they're just middle-aged. Waluigi especially. Actually, I don't know. Out of Wario and Waluigi, which one would you say is probably older? I mean, I presume they're probably around the same age. You cannot force that into existence. They're not old. They're middle-aged. Are you going to seriously argue that being middle-aged is just old, old? I mean, you might. But I feel like there are a lot of middle-aged people who might object. They're 32 years young. Okay, well... I think... I think the worms will get you. I think I can control my worms now and that they're going to get you. Okay. Come on, come on. Give me more items. Just bananas, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I guess... Oh, please, you... Come on. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Nice. Retina. Hawawis. Nice. Come on, come on, and... Oh, please, you... Really, really? Not dodge it. Oh, oh. Let's get over here. Get over here. And, oh my. What? No, no. No! No! Oh my goodness. It's ended. It's so <laughs> over! <laughs> right at the end. The choke. The absolute choke. Only four more. Actually throwing, that's wild. <laughs> okay. Holy crap, Spain? Oh, the final one is Wii Rainbow Road. That's cool. If anything could be a send off, it'd be that. Mm. 
it's still crazy to think how few courses the original Mario Kart launched with. Just a third of these. So explain specifically and in detail what the Nutella had to do with the diarrhea. Why one made the other worse. I have some idea, but I want to hear it out of the horse's mouth. By the way, you're a horse now. I don't make the decisions. <laughs> okay. Tell me, tell me what the crepe and the diarrhea made worse about each other. If you're going to come and chat talking about diarrhea, you need to be prepared to explain yourself. Sorry. And I actually do mean it that time. If I had hit Polaris, I would say sorry about it. And, ooh, ooh. No, that's what I mean, is that... What did the crepe have to do with it? Did the crepe cause it, or...? The causal relationship here is not exactly clear. I need you to explain in detail. And if it makes you feel bad about yourself, you know what? We bully each other. That's life. Okay. Uh, please, please. The music here is good, at least. Guys, not a lot of music. Oh, okay. So the crepe was just a specifically bad thing to eat when you have those health problems? That makes sense. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Thank you for explaining in detail. See, it wasn't that hard. So... That's a fun long drift. It's not too tight. That's a good amount of time. Oh, what did I... What? What? No, no, no. No! I'm actually throwing. Oh my goodness. I hate my chungus life. Soccer! Oh my goodness. I mean football. I mean football. Okay. Um, and there is... How close are we? How close are we? And, oh my goodness, I'm actually throwing. I'm actually throwing. No, I hit Polaris! I hit Polaris! We win. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay. Was it made by that one guy you said who just does really bad barbecue? In my attack, I have never heard that before, but I'm stealing that from now on. What, the Chungus Life one? No, in my defense, I didn't know I had this problem. In my attack. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> in my offense. Oh, I didn't see that part. That's that is a good one. That is a good one. I feel like Chad is funnier than me a lot of the time. In my defense, I'm kind of busy playing Dark Souls most of the time. In I, your attack, you're busy playing Dark Souls most of the time. Well, I do get it. Oh, I should have hit Polaris. Take it. It really is just a matter of us continuing to try to hit Polaris and just falling <laughs> over ourselves. Give yourself some more credit. Give yourself some more credit. You're funny. Sometimes. Okay. Come on. For me, I'm not really funny as much as I'm just mean. That's why I was so good at Psych back when we used to play that game. Oh, and you can just... Oh, cool. You just click that. That's nice. Even without it. Oh, cool. Sometimes. And ooh, goodness. Oh, right. and, come on. Okay. I'm gonna wait for that. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. It's undoubtable. How did I get up there? Weird. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, please. Especially. Well, in that case. It, okay. Never mind, I guess. This is very slow. I, mm. Come on, and I can get over there. I can get over here. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice. Did I, 
I did not make you fall at all. Oh well. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure whether I need a mush. What? Huh? Okay. Understandable. <laughs> it really was. Goodbye, Polaris. Goodbye. Uh, I toss a green show right past you to try to <laughs> Bounces back and hits it me anyway. bounces between the finish line. We somehow both pass it. It bounces up just right to smack you. I am God's least favorite child today. <laughs> And some, maybe some other days, too. But this one especially. Yeah, especially this day. Uh, come on, we need to. Dodge. Okay, please. I, what? What? I, mm, 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 it's mm, over. It's so over. I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe I can make more bad puns. Or if I really tried hard, I can make good puns. It's not happening. Oh, all right. Bowser. Bowser. Well, once I get through Dark's Demon Souls and... Why? Because you're Italian, or...? It's not very nice of you to say about Italy. Have some pride. Thirty first race. Well actually the ninety fifth race. Come on, come on. It's actually the ninety fourth. That would be cool. He's on. Because of what? She's on toys. No, it's in this I is this is go. the ninety sixth then. Yeah. Went nowhere. Nowhere fast. Okay. I threw that point blank at Polaris and it just veered left, never to be seen again. It's because God loves Polaris and not you. <laughs> yeah, I, I kinda gotten that vibe. Actually, it's because it's Pride Month. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> that was their gay stimulus. Their gay check. Gay power activating. Come on, come on. Alright, please. Alright, and it's good. Mmm, that didn't work and I almost hit my own down. Almost. Come on. Come on. If I get shell snapped, I swear. Ah! Thank okay. you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Maybe you're just gay and poor. That would, that would be that would be a struggle. No, no. They said they didn't get their gay check. I said oh. maybe you're just gay and poor. Real. Yeah. Oh. No. <coughs> ah. Yeah. That's what I get. That's what I get. Understandable. Fair. And I, it's so over. It's so over. Okay, let's try to not get in last place on the other round. Okay. The final 97th race. Okay. All right. The mag crowd. <laughs> probably because probably your roommates, at least because there are two of them. I'm gonna sneeze my way to defeat. Most likely. Come on. 
We should try? Like I said, the idea that it's a choice instead of just something you're born with is very, very... It's not the way that people described it even ten years ago, which is why... It is... Okay, okay. Just... Come on. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 but oh my goodness, that was embarrassing. I just I should have gotten a cart with better handling. That's the big thing. Okay. Come on. The nose is <laughs> Wait, what happened? I, huh? I, got a good, I got a really good side swipe with the show, but then I flew off the edge myself. Classic. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll take those, I'll take those. How about you all just stop moving and let me get first? It won't happen. Come on, come on. Get that, please. Please, please. And was turned? Oh well. Well, oh, maybe, maybe she's by. And oh my! Oh my goodness! I should have drifted. Of course, I burn up in the atmosphere. Mm. Yeah, that's life sometimes. Come on. Give me, please give me more, give me more stuff. Oh goodness. Uh, uh, what? What? Oh my goodness. Okay, as long as we beat Polaris, I, I'll, I'll feel like we've won. I'll feel like we've won as long as we beat Polaris. So. <laughs> come on, come on. Well, you know. I think I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Oh my! What? 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 No! Huh? What? Huh? Oh my goodness! Got to be kidding. What do I need to? Come on! Come on! No! Oh! I I shouldn't have used this goddamn card. I shouldn't have used that goddamn card. It's, it wasn't supposed to be fair. Wow, I'm horrible at this game. Maybe I should just never play Mario Party. Okay, cool. Well, alright, good job. So I assume yeah. Polaris won in the end? Probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. And just a moment here. Wanna have a little post mortem chat or something? I don't know. <laughs> I literally expected to come in dead last, and I did. At the very least, I was right. I could get better if I cared to spend the time on it, but I don't. <laughs> so. There we go. That was vile. Good shit. You were, you were, you got close. You got close though. I literally was not using tilt controls. Anything else? Otherwise, I guess that's it. Uh, not really. The entire time I'm feeling. Yeah. Good job, everybody. I mean, good <laughs> job, people who weren't me. So yeah. <laughs> Fun stuff. Fairly well. Santa Reagan.